Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Jez7780 here. What grinds my gears? New episode. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a Saturday night. Yes. Hope everybody's having a good week and a weekend. Yo, shout out Sam Ash. What's up? Buck Roger. How you doing? Yo, what's up, B Rap? How you doing, man? How's everything going, man? Yo, excellent show, man. I've been listening. Uh, you had some good shows this week. Good guest, man. Awesome. Shout out to B Rap, Basement Radio Arcade Podcast. How you doing, man? So. So I I was I, I've been planning to do something like this because I did it on the PlayStation Four and basically you know I did a, a PlayStation Now kind of just a little live stream demo of just showing what it is and showing the stuff and for you to make a decision again you know we hear so much what's up Dylan how you doing Brian V yo you know the thing is is like we hear uh, so much at minutia oh my god like about again Game Pass and that's the, I don't want to see too much of it but. It's always about this article, best game, best service ever, and my goodness. And it does have good things, but it dominates the conversation. And, you know, PlayStation Now is just deemed trash. da trash. And I'm like, you know what? Nobody really shown PlayStation Now on the PlayStation 5. And what it has in it, and what they have been putting in it. And this is just an educational video to kind of show you, let's explore PlayStation Now and what PlayStation Plus has offered. The games that Sony has put on in this new generation of the PlayStation 5. And, you know, you determine value. You determine based on the content that you see. Just like our subscriptions that we do. You know, you look at Netflix, see what's in there. You look at HBO, Paramount Plus, what's in there that I might like. You know, shout out to those services, you know, with, with uh, you know, the Z Snyder Cut going on with uh, with Justice League. You know, if you enter that, yo, there you go. It's about the content. It's always about the content. And I thought, let's explore this content. Let's see what its capabilities are. Let's see what they've been putting in there. Because they did a pivot as well over the last year or so. And they definitely have been doing things with the service. And I just wanted to show it, you know. And, and you know, we could talk about it. About, you know, shout out in the chat. Grinders, man. You know, you have things you want me to check out. I'm going to put up my PlayStation 5 dashboard here. And we're going to explore it. And uh, we're going to go through things about PlayStation Now. You know, because I could tell you as a consumer, you know, it's a good accessory. Because we always talk about Sony and the Platinum and the bangers and the big games and all this other stuff. But you know what? They got services too. And their services are not as highly priced. And they got things in there that is definitely something to look at. And should just be deemed trash. On, on you know, like, oh, it's just trash. Like, you mentioned PlayStation Now. And somebody's like, oh, no, Game Pass is better. Trash. And it's like, this bullshit. You got to look at both of these services. You got to look at what's in them. All right? And I think that that's the thing. Like, I think everybody just, just like when Stadia came out, everybody's like, Stadia trash. xCloud's going to win. Every, no, for some reason, this Xbox camp doesn't want anybody to kind of step in their shoes because Xbox has to be the only person in the competition because that's the only way they possibly could get a W. And I find that that happens a lot with, with PlayStation Now and some of the things that Sony's been doing with PlayStation Plus. And I just want to do this video just to kind of show what's in there. And then you decide which, if it's trash or not. It may be. You know? Hey, one man's trash, one man's treasure, you know? So we'll journey this, Grinders. We're going to do this. And, 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 and you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes on the PlayStation 5. And uh, with that, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you're new here. Shout out to the new subscriber, Sam Walton and Rodrigo Gamer. Brand new, two new subscribers. Thank you, guys. I'm at 726 subs. Yo, this is awesome. Thank you so much for your support. Continue to keep subbing, man. Let's hit that thousand. And more great content will be coming. And shout out to everybody that's coming out on Monday nights for the Gaming Grindhouse. That thing is growing huge. I'm so glad that you like it. And I just had that idea with the grinds board and the grinds table and just getting people and just, just talking about stuff to more people and just, just ranting and chatting and, and Arnold Schwarzenegger quotes. Let's go. Brian V, what's up? Oh, yeah, Bethesda. They've been hot in the news. We'll, 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 we'll say hi to them. We'll say hi to Bethesda. But, yeah, with that, guys, let's go. without further ado, let's go. Let's go. Let's just, let's just see what's going on in this thing. So let me switch over here. Okay. Got the chat up in the corner. Let's see. Here we go. So the way PlayStation Now is in um, this, and let me just make sure I get this 
loud enough. Can you hear, uh, here we go. I don't want to be too loud. Just let me know how the audio balance is because I can't hear too much. So, uh, yeah. So the way they uh, do PlayStation now in here is that basically um, it is kind of an app, but it's basically embedded into the dashboard. And also, too, another reason why I want to do it is because PlayStation now is on sale. Uh, 12 months and you get a $15 store credit, which, um, yeah, that that's uh, we'll talk about that. And, uh, and the other thing that PlayStation does with the PlayStation 5, and this is just a revisit of the PlayStation UI, you know, that I did back in November when it first came out. Not much has changed since then. But um, as you can see, like, they take uh, they take their um, their subscriptions and they put them under the stamp. Finally, they put the deal section in. Thank God. I know Rap, B-Rap was talking about that shit. We was, oh, man, that deal section, thank, long waited. Thank God they added that. That was different than the launch. But your subscriptions. So this is where Sony puts the subscriptions. And the big three subscriptions are PlayStation Plus Collection, which PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Now, and EA Play. And uh, granted, EA Play, I know it's integrated with Xbox uh, Game Pass now, which I think is great, even though it adds a lot of fluff. Uh, you know, adding a lot of fluff with like Madden 15 and 16 and stuff like that. And, and a lot of them are kind of in here. But... Um, but you do get the trials and the newer games that's coming out. So we just got Scar the Star Wars Squadron. So now this is part of EA Play subscription, which is $30 a year. Um, so you can download it. And so this is EA Play, and then it uh, has it here. So this is kind of the list. And again, I think that the Xbox has a better representation of EA Play because they do have the 360 games in there, um, where EA kind of has this in here. But again, it auto-renewed on me. But... NHL is going to be out in April, so trade in NHL, guys. Listen to me. You want to manipulate. Before I get into PlayStation Now, let me tell you how to manipulate EA Play. What you do is you buy the games physically if you want a sports game. Yo, what's up, Big Cloud? How you doing, man? Hope you're feeling better. Can't wait to get you on a show. Man, I'm going to get you on a show, too, man. We got we to chat. So, uh, yeah, with EA Play, you know, one of the things, the way I finesse it, I give it my old Phil Ness, is that you buy a game physically on sale, like Madden, and then you trade it in right before Super Bowl, and you get like $27 at old good friend's uh, GameStop. And, uh, yeah, that basically pays for a year of EA Play right there. But then what happens is the game goes digital, and then you get the game digitally. Uh, and the same thing just happened with NHL. NHL, I heard, is coming out in April, thanks to Game Pass announcement. So what I did was I had NHL I got on Black Friday for like around there for like thirty bu uh, $27. Well, I just traded it in for $27. So basically, no harm, no foul. And now I'll get NHL, the new one, in April uh, digitally. That's how I finesse game, uh, EA Play. But this is not about EA Play. This is about the the subscription services on PlayStation that just deemed, uh, to just deemed that they don't exist by another uh, group of people. So uh, one of the things, before I get into the PlayStation now, is this PlayStation Plus collection. All right, so this is the section that they have on the PlayStation 5 for PlayStation Plus. And the games they've been given for PlayStation Plus recently have been friggin' insane. So you've been getting a PlayStation 5 game. Another Destruction All Stars was a PlayStation 5 game that's staying until April. They give you a PlayStation 4 game. And then the Final Fantasy 7 Remake is a PlayStation 4 game. Then you get your discounts through that. But they've been doing this uh, since launch. They've been guaranteeing that you at least get a PlayStation 5 game in there. Bug Snacks was one. Worms. Uh, the Worms uh, Warzone or whatever that was. That was another one. Hey, what's up, Neil? How you doing? And, uh, and you know, Marquette is another one. That PlayStation 5 game. So they're putting actually PlayStation 5 games in there. Games that have PlayStation 5 features with the DualSense, the 3D audio, and... Uh, and take advantage of the PlayStation 5. They're making sure that those games are in PlayStation Plus. Over Xbox Live Gold. Which, are, you know, I think that speaks for itself. You just see that. So, the thing is, is that... Uh, so, here are your free monthly games that they've gotten out. And they also gave out Farpoint, which is a PlayStation VR game. Uh, so, th yo, these are free monthly games given out with PlayStation Plus. The thing that you need to play online? Yeah. And that's just one month. Okay? In addition to that... You get these games. You get 
the insane trilogy god of war you can read them more combat fall Four. hey bethesda what's up uh final fantasy 15 and these are in there indefinitely these don't go anywhere monster hunter which i got rid of when i first bought it like a month later and now i have it there resident evil 7 for the resident evil 8 coming out persona 5 so i started streaming that battlefield 1 look at this call of duty black ops 3 this is something that i want to it's up dl almighty how you doing this is something i want to uh draw your attention to notice in the services that sony offers with playstation now and playstation plus notice the name now you might like it or not call of duty because there's a lot of them and what do we say that gamers care oh call of duty that's it's call of duties in the sony's getting a lot of call of duties in their services and you, you'll see that like here's one right here zombie chronicles and black ops 3 right days gone detroit uncharted batman Arkham, second son last guardian which is i liked it a lot last of us remastered bloodborne and until dawn and second son which they just gave out for and they're also doing the day the days of play where their games of play or whatever that they just gave out ratchet and clank um they just gave that away and now the next game they're going to give away is horizon zero dawn plus another 20 or so indie games and some of them are vr games with astrobot and moss which those things are awesome in vr if you have a playstation vr and i'm going to tell you this too this is kind of probably a next upcoming stream is going to be that the playstation vr on the playstation 5 definitely runs better it's def i was doing some vr in it and i tell you it, it it's good now yes you have to use the older camera you can't use the new playstation camera but i tell you the vr it runs better it even looks a little sharper on it i think than what it was it doesn't look as as fuzzy i also think too it's getting the games are getting a little bit better but the games do play better i find that the vr is is amped up a little bit it's up to floyd how you doing on the uh on when it's plugged into the playstation 5 another thing that you know it seems like it doesn't really get talked about the playstation vr on the playstation 5 another thing that everybody's like vr sucks <laughs> you know what uh no it doesn't and actually the fact that they're showing new vr uh controllers i'm hyped up for next gen vr and you know i know why i i say this is because you see with the oculus quest quest 2 the Oculus that's hooked up to the, the PC and then the HTC, the Vive. And, but you see the, the, you know, what that Oculus is doing, right? And Sony PlayStation, the thing is that they get the VR games that were exclusive. Now, I had the Vive. I have the Vive still. But I prefer the PlayStation one because they actually were getting exclusive games that actually felt like games. I felt like at the Vive, I was using a lot more of like tech demos and things like that. Where the PlayStation one, they were getting games built for the, for the system. And they felt more gamey, if you know what I mean. Even though the, those those move controls were tough, especially as I, as I mentioned this on Salty, I don't know, Salty is on my podcast. I forget now, but using those those um, those move controllers as games got more complex, um, moving around with those move controllers and not having a D, uh, having an analog stick, that that really um, you know was was wasn't as good, because now with the games getting more complicated, you want those that analog control in addition to your one to one grabbing, and the fact that they have that. And the next gen uh, PlayStation VR is awesome. Two analog thumbsticks. Let oh yo, it's gonna be incredible with the uh, that with the controller features, the with the rumble and stuff. Yo, awesome, great, can't wait. And the fact is that VR, Sony's still in the conversation. They're getting devs on board. They got that whole development community, niche call, whatever you want. There is a community of devs that want to do VR, and VR does have applications. And the fact that Sony remains part of that conversation and leading in the tech and m making tech for that is awesome. And that was the problem that I had when Phil dismissed VR. Phil dismissed VR for Xbox. Said, oh, yeah, we're making third-party headsets with AR and all the – you want to know what happened? Garbage. HoloLens. Yeah, what happened? It went off into the, into the, into the outside. You want to know why? Because Microsoft didn't back it up. Instead, they just made third-party make it and said, yeah, they just were lackadaisical. And didn't support the devs. So now, guess what? They're not part of the conversation. They're not. And when they decide to say, hey, you know what? Maybe we'll do a VR headset. Well, guess what? Now they got to go begging devs to put games on their VR headset. Because they weren't there from day one. That's their problem. What's up, Jamal King? How you doing? And that's my VR rant. Which, there'll be more of that. Not, not today. But that was my VR side rant. Because you know that's what you come here for. 
Some of this shit just pissed me off. I got my beer right here. Oh, damn. Here it goes. And that's another thing, Dylan. You're right with the with the VR. Another thing I noticed too with the controllers is that it actually the headset is going to detect the controllers, the inside out reading, which is awesome because then that's less for the vision of the camera to see what's going on, which means you can, you don't have to obstruct it. That was always the problem with VR was that it used those orbs that if you turned away from the camera, it will lose tracking of your hands because the lights were you were hiding them. What when the headset sees the hands and detects them now you got full 360 movement you could spin full around you don't have to work in like a 180 plane that's a big deal and you know what star wars scratchings does have vr in it which i'm gonna try but not right now we're talking services you know because everybody says microsoft's the king of services but everybody just dismisses sony services as garbage but I mean, look at these games all right you just get these games just get them for just playing online and we'll talk price but Sixty dollars a year? That's on a, that's on a non-sale. Forty-four dollars a year, or maybe even cheaper, for PlayStation Plus. You get this collection, and you're getting games like this monthly, and guaranteed PlayStation Five games. Seems nice. Yeah, you get discounts, but you know what? Sales, discounts. Eh. Well, well, that's all is always a perk. But that PlayStation Plus collection. This is twenty significant games that you're starting off when you get your PlayStation. You're getting these. And notice quantity, but not just quantity, everybody. Quality. Okay? Quality. Mm-hmm. Okay. Notice that. So now, once we got the PlayStation Plus collection and EA subscription, right? And PlayStation Plus as a service, right? Let's go look at PlayStation now. By the way, it's on sale. Buy 12 months. Which is sixty dollars, and you get a fifteen dollar PSO star credit. And again, we're not gonna talk about it, Dylan. We already played them. Of course, I, I I totally understand. You know, totally understand. Yeah, this is not like we're gonna hype up playing old games again. But the thing is, is really looking at the service and value and what's in the content of it. Some people might say like, hey. Look at these games I, I never played before. But that's the thing. Like, this is not hype. This is just showing because we hear so much about services of the future. Sony's not doing it. It's only Microsoft that's in the service business. Okay. Well, well this, is, this exists. That's why I want to show it. Okay? And I've been using some of it. Just like in, 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 in between the Demon Souls and the, the, the Astrobot and the, the, um, the Sackboy Adventures. And Crash Bandicoots and Ghost of Tsushima's and Last of Us. Yeah. Been doing some of this as well in between. But this is not my only way of game, and that's the point. This is a good alternative. No, I got you, Dylan. I'm just saying that this is a good old this that's where this should be. This services and subscription should be another way of gaming. We should not be funneling everything into PlayStation now. What's up, True Witty? How you doing, man? When we shouldn't be funneling everything into PlayStation now. PlayStation now exists for a certain type of game and certain things that they want to do. That's why I always say, like, I, I appreciate Sony's approach as of now where they're not compromising their big games by trying to put them in a PlayStation Now or in a PlayStation Plus. They have their games that they want to make big. They got their indie games. They got their service games like Destruction All Stars, which is getting seasons and stuff like that. That's their Fortnite. And they got their ability to put the games in PlayStation Now as well, which they haven't yet, like day one. But we'll see. Yeah, I agree. Like, they should be merging them. So let's see what the latest... Let, let's see the... Uh, so they got collections, right? So this is how they got PlayStation Now. So it's embedded inside. It's not an app anymore. You just... You basically could go right into PlayStation Store. Or you could go up here and you could find it into your game library. And I have installed here and uh yeah we go you go to installed and then you can go to your playstation plus games and the playstation now games that you were playing so it's already built into your game library which these things are pretty cool they added that but if you just want to go into the quote unquote app it's right there right so this is what they got they got the 15 dollars and the game they gave you 15 dollars store credit and that stuff so here's their explore tab so these are some of the games that they add these are some must-see games but let's look into recently added to playstation now right 
So look at these games that they added to PlayStation Now. Now, again, your models may vary. Like, these might be trash, these might not be. But it's, it's something just to take in part of, like, to look at. So they did World War Z, Ace Combat 7, Second Son, Super Hot, which I think it's better with the VR. Um, but look, a Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now let's click on it. Streaming sucks. Oh, wait a second. You could download them. Oh, so you could just download it. Gotcha. So you could just download a lot of these games. The streaming really exists really just for the PlayStation 3 games. Everything since then is all downloadable. Detroit, download. I bought this game. But that's download. Like, all this stuff down. So this is what they've been adding recently. So, Battlegrounds, that came out in October. Hotline Miami 2. Dark Size Genesis. Uh, Little Nightmares, not Little Nightmares 2. The Bioshock Collection. Crew 2, Surviving Mars, Frost Punk, Hell Divers, Here's Horizon. Wreckfest. Uh, see? Download it. Or you could stream it. So you hit these little dots here and you could stream it. You know? So let's see. Let's, let's do a... Let's mess around. Should we do... Injustice 2, Dark Side. So all these, like, Broken Force. Like, see, you can download this stuff. I already have this downloaded. What's up, CTR 2? Rage 2? Oh, Bethesda. What's up? It's Bethesda. Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is what they just added, like, over the last few months. We'll have a Vermintide 2. Monster Jam, Steel Titans, MTX All Out. Rad. I remember playing that at PAX. Medieval. That's an exclusive there. Trine 4, Friday 13th, and WWE 2K. 19. That's just recent, right? So, uh... So, here's your deals right here. Like, look. So, right now, they're $60 for, for 12 months, right? Three months, 25, and one month, 10. So, there's the quick links, but let's go to collections and just show you how they have this broken down, right? I think so, D. If they do, if they do PlayStation 3 downloads, because that's what... See, if you look at downloadable, and now... Let's look at quantity, right? You know, everybody talks about quantity. Yo, what's up, Lincoln Clay? Yo, you just missed my VR rant. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm hyped for that VR too, man. You know what? True witty. Let's 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 go. Let's search. Let's search for for our good friends Bethesda, because that was the big news. Uh, right? Yeah. So here are the Bethesda games. We got Fallout 4, Prey, Dishonored, Doom, Wolfenstein, Evil Within 2. Oh, look, this. Skyrim's not in there. No, we got, uh, and then we go to Elder Scrolls. So here's you, yeah. So these are these, you know, you want to see Prey and you can download Prey. Now, yeah, it's not giving the FPS booster mode, which that's cool, but they're there. They've been in there. And then there's your Elder Scrolls. They got the Tamriel Unlimited and they got Oblivion. I was messing around with this. Hey, this is for Bethesda. Shout out to them. So now I'm streaming a PlayStation 3 game. Streaming is the future. Well, guess what, guys? You can't stream to Xbox yet. The console. You can't You can't stream to it at all. You can stream to your phone. You can stream to xCloud on your phone. And they're just going to add to PC. But they don't have xCloud on the console. And now I guess they don't need it because you can natively download it. But this, the only stuff that really is, need to be streamed is the PlayStation 3 games. Which I'll show you next. It's like if you talk about content, like it really, you know, we'll talk about it. But yeah. Now this is streaming. I'm streaming. You want to see some crazy stuff? Dude, watch this. Now that started pretty quick, right? Look at this. This is the PlayStation 3 interface, dude. <laughs> this game looks horrible. I remember this game was hyped up, though, man. Oh, my God. I, I played this game so much on the freaking 360. Say good, man. Jamal, that's the way to play. PS3 Slim. Slim. Now, this game, I remember, wasn't too hot, I think, on PlayStation 3. Give him a what for? 
Yo, he's blocking my stuff. There he goes. I gave it to him. Let's go ahead and pass this thing already. The rat. I was trying to just... I forgot how be, how this was. Now, again... This game is this. Oh, I got it with the trap! <laughs> he got smacked with the trap. I remember what a big deal, man, this was with the... Uh, thing. Now, again, this is streaming. I'm not no advocate of streaming, but... You know... What I, what I like to do... Can I do... Oh, push activate. Oh, watch this guy, which... Knock him out. Ooh! Took him out. What I like to do for the streaming with the PlayStation 4 games or the, the games that they put in there is stream it just to kind of test it out to see if I want to download it. Now, you want to see something wild? Watch this. Wait, I don't want to kill this guy. Now, mind you, I am playing this in, in my OBS browser. <laughs> like... So, the streaming upon streaming is pretty crazy. So, if this is coming across pretty well, then, yeah. <laughs> because right now, I'm streaming from the PlayStation over HDMI to the PC, which is streaming over the internet to you guys, to the grinders. Where's this guy? Now, I'm going to tell you the one messed up thing about playing these games is using the friggin' triggers. But I can tell you, it's better with the, um, with the PlayStation 5 controller. Because the triggers are actually, the uh, bumpers are actually better. They're like real buttons. This dude's gonna whoop me up, this magic dude. I'm gonna show you something wonky, right? You wanna see something? Let's go. Let me whoop this guy up first. Dude, go down! There we go. Oh my god. It's like freaking slaughtering a cat. Oh my god, that guy was just like screaming in my ear. Oh, D wants a resistance, all right. But here, yeah, you want to see something crazy? So watch this. Now you click this. This is what I want to show. So so this is your PlayStation 5 interface, right? So your PlayStation 5 interface is that you got everything here, right? And what's cool is you click on this, your PlayStation Now, and you could do change controller. You could return to the game or go to more PlayStation Now games. These games didn't age well. I know the Floyd. I know. Nostalgia is a hell of a drug, as the Mooch says, right? So... You want to see something crazy? Watch this. Show play. PC. Yo, how's this? Look at this. PlayStation Network. <laughs> Your old friends list. Your friends list in the PlayStation. This is some crazy stuff, dude. This is some wild stuff. You got your whole PlayStation 5 interface here with your PlayStation 5 save utilities. And you stuff up there, like, it still lives. The PlayStation the PlayStation 3 still lives. <laughs> See? It says you are connected to a remote PlayStation 3. Crazy, right? So let's go. So we got this. But I just want to show just some, some stuff. Run! I wanted to get to the part where you get out of the cavern and everything is... is uh, What's up, Zuby? Oh, yeah, I'll friend you. Don't worry. If you send me some friend requests, I'll get you after. Oh, yeah. Let's do let's do motor song. Let's do some let's do some some goodies. Let's do, oh, look at this. Th I forgot third person. You find a defensible spot and protect the emperor until Man. help arrives. Help. What makes you think help will get here before more of those bats? And occasionally you'll get hitches. Oh, sh yo. Dudes are coming in. <laughs> This can only lead to your death. My guardians are Dude, watch it when you zoom in on their face. Awkward zoom in. Come with us. I think this was voiced by. Come with us. All right, let's go. Let's go. He can help us. Open the door. As you wish, sire. Come closer. They cannot Awkward zoom in. Why I trust you? How can I explain? Listen, That's right. You have a whole place in three. All right, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be a mage. Let's go. Disposable games. So I've been doing God of War 2, man. <laughs> it looks like Phil Spencer. 
This was voiced by um, the uh, what's that? The guy, the Professor X. What the hell's his name? I forgot his name. Yeah, he he. I think he voiced that. That was like a big deal. Uh, you know what? Open the gut. Well stop with the sense. awkward zoom-ins, dudes. Open the door. I want to see the greenery. My <laughs> Potato face. <laughs> Stick close and let us do our job. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not waiting for you fools. Not much farther. Woo! We don't have to wait for you guys. Oh man, I should. Uh oh. Never mind. Yo, he, they told me to wait back. Whatever. So uh, uh, let's uh, well, let's go to more PlayStation Now games. And then you're going to notice, too, is that up in the corner, if you remain idle, they'll say, like, okay, your session is going to end. Like, because so I guess they'll not take a bandwidth for other people playing. So we can click on this. So they got PlayStation 5, PlayStation exclusives, downloadable, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2. They don't have too many PlayStation 2 games in here. But all these are native. You could play these natively. Um in here so like you know if you do uh ape escape you know you could download these because these games were, were were upgraded see it says closing activity if you click on the button it'll say do you want to add five minutes like take a break or do you want to return to the game if you hit return to the game it'll take you right back to the game which is pretty cool yeah it's not an emulator no it's 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 running off of playstation 3s like that that's what it is a bunch of playstation 3 it just works yeah right <laughs> because so, like, let's look at some more games. So, and the downloadable ones out of the shape, but you go to collections. But yeah, these are the PlayStation 2 games they added. They're downloadable. You could play those natively on there. Like, Destroy All Humans. Like, you could stream it. So, what I'll do is like stream it, or you could just download it. You know? And yeah, you download it. But I don't actually, I probably shouldn't be downloading if I'm going to stream and doing all this other stuff. But and then here's your download manager here. Is it downloading it? I don't know. I don't want to download it, actually. See, it's going to close in 30 seconds due to inactivity. So, and then it'll shut down. But yeah, you could you could download these games. And then the save is transferable. So, like, if you download Ape Escape. Um, and they got a cool, like, you know, a cool way of, like, seeing the games. Like, you know, Harvest Moon and stuff. Like, you know, you could download stream. You could add to your favorite. It's, it's three bucks to buy it. But, like, they got the descriptions and stuff like that. So, it's pretty cool because they kind of integrate it. Yeah, but those are the PlayStation 3 games. Then you'll see PlayStation 4 games. And look at down. And then you look at you down. And then here's your PlayStation 4 games that they have here. And, unfortunately, they don't just have the count in the corner. And you could sort them. And, you know, most downloaded. Let's see, the most downloaded games. Call of Duty Black Ops. Hmm. You know. And this you could download or you could stream it. You know, so you could download or stream any one of the PlayStation 4 games or PlayStation 2. It's only the PlayStation 3 games that, um, these games that you have to, uh, that you can only stream. You know, Arkham Asylum. You know, the Batman game. So let's see, like, so, so let's look at the whole, and then here's your PlayStation exclusives, right? It is good for a slow rainy day. That's what I'm, and the thing is, is that the top gaming with JI how you doing? The thing is, is that this is like it's forty four dollars a year, less than the price of a game, or sixty dollars. Like value, like look, you, you, it's it's even if you say, hey, I'm not playing any of this stuff, like it's still like it's not. It's it's not one hundred and eighty dollars, one hundred fifty dollars. Where you're like, yo, man, it's a it's a bit a month. If I'm not playing this stuff, does it does it go away? You know, say it'll just download it, but I'm not gonna do that. While you know how games work natively downloaded. And then these are the exclusives that they have on the service. They let's try it. They do, right, Dylan? They got an exclusive category just to flex. That's right. Now, the only thing is, and the reason why I'm doing this through the computer is that you can't, you can't screen share. Like, if you go to, um, 
this. Like you can't you can't broadcast. You can't take snapshots. That's the only thing you can't do with the PlayStation Five. Nice, nice man. Yeah, I just started playing Crash Four, man. It, it is really good. And, and another thing too is you don't have to wait too long for it to to start up. Like it's, it's not bad. Now again, your models may vary how far away. I'm pretty close to my router, but um, yeah, you know, my router's like in the same room, but. Yeah, you know, your models may vary if your PlayStation is up there, but I have the other PlayStation Five upstairs, and I could stream some games without any kind of issues, at all. Like I believe early on, like when I had this about like three, four years ago or so, like it would drop out and stuff like that. Sometimes it'll have like a little warning in the side, but on the PlayStation, that was on the PlayStation Four. On PlayStation Five, it's been, you know, that's right. That's what I mean. Like, yeah, I'm sure this game is not working online. Shout out to Jaffe. We made this one. Oh, now it's downloading games here? Who should I be? Who is my guy? Death Warrant, Outlaw. Yo, Axel. <laughs> Let's be Sweet Tooth. Nah, it's on sale too. Like, yeah. Oh, what am I doing? I'm doing my deathmatch around the guns. Yeah, but some of these games uh, don't age well, man. Sweet tooth. My name is Calypso. Welcome to my contest. Welcome and just showing, like, you know. Uh, oh, wait, what did he say? Oops, what did he say? Control Soft wanted this to raise the price. Sunday yes! D, $120 for PlayStation. Yeah, exactly. I'm even going to say, like, they wanted to raise it to. That's why if they're gonna raise that to one hundred and twenty dollars a year, and then you got and then Game Pass by itself. Game Pass Ultimate is one hundred and eighty dollars a year. Like you can't just pay. And this is the thing. Like you can't. Oh sh. You can't just pay for Game Pass on on Xbox. You need Xbox Live. So you kind of need Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which uh, because if you just sign up for Xbox Game Pass. All the games that have multiplayer, like Sea of Thieves, Gears 5, Sea of Thieves you can't even play because it's, there's no offline. So those games without live are dead in Game Pass. You need Ultimate in order to enjoy those games. That's why you need Ultimate. That's their plan. That's where the shadiness comes in. That's another point to say, well, PlayStation now, this game, or not this game, but the games that require online like Call of Duty Black Ops, you don't need PlayStation Plus to play Black Ops online. As long as you get, if you get Black Ops 3, for example, through PlayStation Now, you don't need a PlayStation Plus subscription to play it online. So any online games that are being put into PlayStation Now, you don't need Plus as well. It's included in your PlayStation Now subscription. That is a huge difference compared to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. And that is for $50, $60 a year. Compared to Ultimate, which is $180 a year, where you got to have online in order to play a lot, some of those games. Master Chief Collection, for example. You need to have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for those. And that's a huge difference with, with this. And you know what else is interesting, too? Oh, shit. You know what else is interesting, too? Wait up. There we go. Come on. Where the hell's the gas? Oh, there it is. You know what else is interesting, too? Like, the, the uh, vibration works. And, uh, yeah, vibration works, all that stuff. You could even do multiplayer. Like, so you could have, um, oh, man, that car. You could even do, um, you know, multiple controllers, too, for PlayStation Now. Yeah, I got the guy hanging out the window. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, you can, you don't need... I want to try to shut down the building. Yo. This dude. I, I didn't even follow the controls, dude. So, square is to go. Oh, they have my special... Ah, oh, use my special weapon. This guy. <laughs> this is going to trash it through the freaking house. Yo, this guy's like on my ass. Where the hell is the. Yo. 
but you know again as a consumer just just telling you exactly what you know what it is like you know make the decision like and again not saying the game pass is bad but you know it just gets so much cap and so much so talked about and it's for the day one games i guess right but like oh crap pound the buttons to restart my engine Dude, they're gonna kill me. Oh, he tossed me. Now, this is streaming. God, streaming's horrible. Like, PlayStation now sucks because you gotta stream, stream games. Well, if I wanna play a PlayStation 3 game, I don't know if you could share PlayStation now. I don't do game sharing. I don't know. I, I know what you can do. This is what I do with PlayStation now. Let's get out of this. The, the controls. J Jaffe has to fix those controls. Jesus. You use square to go and stuff like that. But, like, um, I can tell you what I do now. So, like, I, on my second PlayStation, that is the, um, that is the, uh, what I can do is I could go in on PlayStation now, download the game to the console, and then other accounts could play on it if that, if that's the master, uh, one. So, even though another account can't log in as me, and I think you, I don't think you can share it. Because basically they're logging into another platform as you, so um, I don't know if you could do that or not. But you know, let me know if you can. If anybody finds out, but I don't do any game sharing. All I could say is that I go onto the other PlayStation. I'll go into PlayStation now, download a game because it's, and now they show you these little icons up in the right hand corner, and you could do that on the same console. Like other profiles could play these games as long as the main profile downloads the game, and then everybody could use it. But I don't know about sharing it. If somebody subscribes, if you could share it, I don't. I don't know about that because I don't. I don't do that. Um, so they, and so now they got the exclusives to flex. So let's see. We got PlayStation exclusives. We got Sly Koopa. I uh, did Twisted Metal until dawn. Tokyo Jungle and Charter. Somebody said they wanted a yeah. Most Storm. They were infamous too. Yeah, I was playing this uh, Festival of Blood too. Here's the original Shadow of Colossus before they did the remake. Here's all the ratchets. They do have, um, so, like, this is what I wanted to kind of show. So, if you go into uh, Browse, right? Well, actually, they have down here, if you look, Genres. Let's see fighting games, right? Let's see what fighting games they got in here. Here are all the fighting games that they got. Bellator? What the hell? All the Blaze Blues, Blues? Brawl Out, Dog Stalkers, Dead or Alive 5. Yo, I love these games. These Deadliest Warriors? Oh, we're going to do that, Gadget Guy. We're going to do that. Yo, I was playing all the Guilty Gears because they took away that beta, so I was playing some of the Guilty Gears to get ready. Pug. The Pug's in the chat. There's Pug. I'm looking for you. <laughs> I'm coming. But, yo, these games. Do you ever play? Everybody want to... I'm going to check it. I want to show you this. Streaming again. Deadliest Warrior. You ever, you ever play these games? These were made by, like, the Sci-Fi Channel, some bullshit like that? Yes. The Ratchet, all the Ratchet, I'll show, I'm going to show you all the games. We'll, we'll go into it. But Deadliest Warrior. Again. I think I can, and here's my infomercial. Right? We hear enough infomercial about everything else. $44 a year. All right? Nice backup plan. Nice to have. Doesn't mean that God of War is going to be free to play. Doesn't mean uh, we're going to have Craig in the next uh, Uncharted game. We don't have to worry about free-to-play multiplayers and games compromised for services. It's nice to have because not everything is in here because this is, this is what it's for. It's a good backup. Who I'm going to be? Genghis Khan. No, I want to be, what's his name? I want to be Dracula. And xCloud has streamable games, like pretty much the games that are on Android when they announce those. That's why it's fragmented. It's not the same library. Now, this is the thing. This whole library right now here that you're seeing on PlayStation Now, you could do this on PC. You could stream it, and that's all streamable. Then you got to stream everything. PlayStation 4 games, PlayStation 3. <laughs> on the console, you only stream the PlayStation 3 games. PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 4 games they offer are... Um, I'm not going to do it. I, uh, this game, I must have played this so many times just to cut people's arms and heads off. I'm just all about dismemberment. Dude, cut his head off. 
Did I get him? Oh. Wait, no. We gotta do some dismemberment. We need some dismemberment right now. Oh, dude! He pulled out the arrow! <laughs> it shot me around my eye! <laughs> I didn't know you had that finesse with him. No? There we go. You're not doing that. Oh, see, I don't have a... I gotta get a sword. Where's my sword? Uh-oh. Vlad the Impaler. Oh! Yo. I'm gonna take my sword out because I want... I'm drinking blood. And the sound is pretty good. So let's go. Let's get into... I want to take my sword out. So I want to slice him. There we go. Down you go. Ooh, I got my arrow. Oh, come on. Where's the dismemberment? I think the first one was more aggressive. I smell your fear. The first one was like I was heads were rolling. There we go. Come on, cut his arms off. Nah that you know what? Bullshit. The first one didn't mess around. This one was like no, 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 no. That's some bullshit. That, the, the, the heads would be rolling. So somebody said they want to do Blaze. So like, yeah, some Blaze Blues, some Guilty Gears, we got Injustice, got the Power Rangers one, Ragdoll Kung Fu. Now again, like these games right here, like, you know, Guilty Gear, like these are PS4 games. You can download these. I was playing these. I think I actually have one downloaded. But again, just to kind of show you, not every game is streaming. You can stream it. Like, if you want to take a PlayStation 4 game, you can stream it. Uh, you can stream it to test it out. Yes, I did watch the show, Dylan. Like, that's the thing. I watched the show. And then when they made the game, man, the dismemberment. See, it, this is the one. I'm, I don't give a shit, guys. Sorry. This is my stream. I, gotta, I want to dismember somebody on this, on this game. We got to go. Because the first one, I had, I missed, I used to like, this was like my, yo, what's up, Rome Rush? How you doing, man? I would do, I, I would, yeah, I would rock with this one. And I'll just, yeah, see, I don't see that icon anymore, that little connection quality one. Just closing the last game session. Again, I'm doing all the streaming. This is, I'm just kind of showing that you can stream. Um, but um, you could download the PlayStation 4 games. But again, it's a whole library. Like it's it's huge. Well, we're gonna I'm gonna we're gonna say that that's that's the uh, thing. So now it's starting up my deadliest warrior. Then the other thing is that they show up like in your thing. Oh, here we go. What's going on. Deadliest warrior. There we go. Blood and gore. I think I'm going to be the Viking. Spike games. <laughs> Remember Spike TV? It's more showing the capability of it. Again, everybody... Everybody has different tastes in games, but... Apache. Samurai. Oh, the Spartan. Sparta. Dory. No. I'm using this. Oh, my fighting person. The pirate? Alright. Let's see if I can. Let's see. Because this reminded me of one of my favorite games I had was Time Killers in the arcade. Where, like, you could just cut off somebody's, like, uh... Whoa, who's bringing a gun? Yo! Oh, you let my shield off. Damn, this one's... See, I told you, the first one was bloodier. Sparta! Bitch! I'm gonna hit him with the shield. Oh! Where's my big so I got I feel like I got the Oh, oh! Dude, I shot that in the face. 
the samurai. I got this little little sword here. I want like my big one. This is Sparta. I had to kick him down the hole. Uh oh, who's next? The ninja. Oh, the samurai. This is Sparta. Lights out, Christmas tree. Who are you? Who is your daddy? Who is your daddy? Hi, buddy. There it is. Oh. Take this, Ghost of Tsushima. Oh. Stop it. Oh, there we go. How do I know this is not some kind of a scam? <laughs> uh oh, you can't hit me with the shield. I got this. Yo, looks. Come on. I love it. Oh, damn. Oh. Uh oh, my heart's beating. Oh. He gave me the side, the side shot. This is not worth it. Damn it. I want heads. Sparta wants heads. Oh, I hit him with the spear. There we go. Now it's a true Spartan. Oh, I. What? There it is. See, he knocked out all my weapons. Look at my arm. It's, it's shot. I love it. You got injury. That's so salty. Spartan wins. This is really cool. I'm gonna chop off another head. But you see, like, what the hell's this? Is this the gym? What is this, Rocky? Yo. Yo, Adrian, I'm in the meat market. Get ready in my fight. In the burning heart. It's about to burst. Oh, what the hell he's doing? He's like, what the hell? Why is a spot in a dojo? Cutting, uh. Okay. This is really cool. I don't know what the hell is that about. <laughs> There's a spot in the friggin' dojo. And mind you, this is streaming. Yes, I know Jedi. It is awesome. That 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 was, that was what I was, I was trying to get for the crowd. Get that head that headshot thing. But you could chop off arms and stuff, and the guy could fight with one like one arm. I, I just got this little sword. I want to try to do that. Uh oh, dude. Oh, this is Sparta. Oh. And I stand on your body. You're my number one customer. Ooh. See, I'll get, there we go. Oh, I hit him with the spear. Oh. Alright, one more. We'll do one more for the fans. I want one more head roll. Relax. You've been erased. I want one more head roll. Hit that like button, everybody. We got one more head roll. Uh oh. The Apache. Now he's gonna slice me up. I, I got all this armor, so I should be good. There we go. Now, whatever your name is, get ready for the big surprise. Arnold the Spartan. Uh oh, this guy got two. Uh oh. There we go. I'll just put a. I'll put some some Spartan things on his leg. Whoa! What? What Spartan? Hit him! Jab him! There we go. Hit him with the spear. 
Oh, I could dance? What the hell is I doing? Yes, I will do more spawn. spawn. Head rolls. There was a... Shh. Oh, why? Where's the hell's the... Who hit who? <laughs> this is Sparta. Alright, let's go. Alright. And then we're gonna see. So these are the uh, all the games. So like you could take all the PlayStation Now games, you could sort them out by genre. You know. Multiplayer games, like party games, I guess. Family games. You know. You can filter them out by platform. PlayStation 3 games. PlayStation 4 games. You can sort by most downloaded. Name A to Z. So let's do. Let's let's do the let's just do the thing. So we got let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So we got five across. Let's do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn, I lost count. <laughs> I was just messing around. Hold on. Let's do it. Thirty. Forty. We're at two hundred. Yeah, so forty was here. Fifty. Fifty one. Sixty. Sixty one. Seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ninety one two three four five six seven eight nine a hundred and we're at N. So that is five hundred games so far. They have 60? You count them? I wasn't count. <laughs> I'm trying. Was my thing's lagging? The 63, So like 180 rows? Like 180 by five? Like. So it is about like eight hundred games. Like we're, we're over eight hundred, and that's everything, right? So that's like pretty much that's pretty much everything. There's about like I count less. So I was like eight hundred and fifty games or eight hundred sixty. Like we're looking at like a hundred. I think they were close to like nine hundred actually, because it's like a hundred. I think a hundred and eighty. Because I, I was my my thing was was lagging back. Uh, I was opposed to my stream, so like I was clicking, I was trying to count while I was clicking, but then it was coming off of that. So I counted about a hundred and and eighty something rows, which you know will bring it back to nine hundred so games total, right? So if you look, uh, nine hundred games total, right? They're, they're approaching, uh, th yeah. No, let's look at Moto Storm. And this is the other thing: you don't have to go searching through here. You could just go like this. You could just do Moto Storm, right? They got Apocalypse. You 
yeah. So here's the apocalypse. They also got Motorstorm RC complete. I don't know. We'll do this one. So yeah, you're looking around 900 or so games, and then we'll count like downloadable. So like you got about 900 games in there. Estimated. 900. Now, Xbox, I think, has, like, in their Game Pass now, well, if you, it depends on what device you're counting on. Android versus PC versus that. You're looking at, they say over 100 games in their advertisement. Um, I would say probably they do have, I counted in there, they probably do have a, probably about, like, 100, about close to 200, I would say, for, for Xbox on the console. That's all I'll say is console. We're comparing consoles. So, like, what console? I would say that, you know, I think they said, that. I think it's a little over 200 what they have but they don't have 900 games that's what i mean 900 games and then you'll see when we count the downloadable ones versus streamable it's about it's a little more than half downloadable because you get the playstation 4 games and the playstation 2 games in there so it's about like 500 games downloadable or 470 something or four something the last time i counted versus uh the other four the other remaining 300 or 400 games are streamable so if you just count downloadable games, it almost doubles what's in the Game Pass. Now, again, it depends on what's in the service that it matters to you, right? But I'm just giving it for comparisons. And again, this is not like Game Pass is bad and, and this is better. I'm just saying, like, for the money that you're getting for this, I don't see a lot of people kind of explain, you know, just showing what you get. And that's what I'm just doing, showing what you get and giving you my opinion on it. From what I think, as a consumer, this is uh, for forty-four dollars. It's like okay, yeah. And, I make movies. and everybody says that the streaming and PlayStation Now is horrible. Okay, I'm streaming everything right now with overstreaming the computer. And again, your models may vary depending on where your PlayStation is located, where your internet is. You know, if there's any interference, things like that. Uh, no, PlayStation Now is not compatible with the Vita. They took it off the Vita. They took it off of uh, the PlayStation Three. And they took it off of, uh, what else did they take it off? They took it off of their TVs as well. They took it off all those things when they started putting PlayStation 4 games in there because they probably wanted you to buy a PlayStation 4. Yeah. That's the thing. But the games that they've been putting there recently have been newer games. Like, if you want to go play older games like PlayStation 3, this is where I'm just showing the streaming for it because they do have some games. I missed out a lot on the beginning of the PlayStation 3 thing um because i came on later like with god of war and uncharted 2 uh and last of us but right now it's on sale for a year you get it for a fit you pay 60 dollars for a year and you get a 15 dollars credit to playstation store so you could buy something so basically you're getting it for you know about about what the hell is this i don't want to see all this i want to play give me all the uh people's names in the story here But I've gotten on sale on Amazon for $44 during the days of play, like during E3 time. That's when I would kind of buy it. Um, it's $44. And uh, and they just had a sale, I think, in around December time for $44 for a year. Um, and now they're running a sale. That's why I wanted to do this to kind of show because they're doing a sale right now on it. And again, there might be a hiccup here or there. But again, that's only if you're streaming these games. Follow me, this guy says. All right. Let's go. I didn't even know there was a campaign in this. I only played Motorstorm 2, I think, right? Whoa. Stay the course. Yo, where'd that guy go? You go this way? Oh, you went this way. Is that turbo or anything? Hold boost. Booster! Go boost. Oh, don't eat the engine. <laughs>
This studio's gone now, man. Remember Evolution Studio? They're gone. They're part of Codemasters, and the Codemasters are part of EA. Oh, man. All right, that's who made this. No! No crash. I always love the slow motion crashes. Alright, alright, I'll release. Uh oh. Took out that guy. Fire will overheat the engine. Oh, Jesus. What to worry about here? Oh, damn. Water will cool the engine. Ah. Very nice. They actually have split second in here. Remember that game? That was like a Disney. That game was good. <laughs> that sucks. That I got a trophy. Aw, oh, damn. Yeah, that too, man. That's right, Sergeant. Like, burnout? The hell, man. EA, man. EA Criterion. EA destroyed them. Even though Takedown was probably one of the better burnouts. But, man, I remember playing Burnout 1 and 2. Oh, man. And then Takedown was, like, the Burnout 3 was awesome. Like, you know... But, man, nah, I'm not too much into Platinums. I care less about trophies. I just play everything. And if I get them, I get them. If I want to maybe do something, I'll do something to get one. But I'm real, I'm not no trophy on it at all. I just play a lot of games. Let's see how this goes. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, oh come on. That guy crashed right in front of me. Yo, this is an apocalypse. One of my favorite games too. Uh, one of the games I really did like too was what? They got my wheel. Full auto. That was like a 360 launch title, man. Where you just like would send people. It was like a car combat game, and you would just send people into the buildings and they had destructible buildings. That was fun. But again, you know. So if anybody, guys, anybody says like PlayStation now is horrible because of streaming. Look into my video and hit the subscribe button, dude. Damn. Oh, damn. Capping for my channel. <laughs> but come on. Like, watch it, people. Get out of my way. Like, you know. It's a comparable service. And it's more than... It's less than half the price of that other one. And it doesn't even get talked about that much. It gets dismissed. I don't know why. People just say it's fair. Just like, you know, let's dismiss it. And you might see a little hitch. There's a little hitch. I'm not a fan of streaming. Whoa, but if this is the only way that I could play, you know, PlayStation 3 game as now. Look at this. I might be getting Returnal, man. I keep editing this stuff. Yes, yeah, what's like in a blur? Mm. Oh, I'm overheating my engine. That's what I'm doing. Uh, not climb up the tree. Don't overheat. God. Damn, I suck. Get out of my way. I'm gonna jump. You gotta be careful. Don't overheat my engine. Oh, I missed the card. How do you do a handbrake? Shit. I don't know what the hell place I'm in. I don't know what's going on. 
Yeah, stream in the near future. Yeah. Nobody streaming stuff. Like, I, yeah, I heard, like, you know, one of the baits, they're like, oh, streaming to phones is the future. It's like mobile gaming and streaming to a mobile system, a, a, a phone, is totally different. You know, people say, well, they're playing Call of Duty on their phone. Well, oh, damn. They're playing Call of Duty natively on their phone. Like, they're not... They're not streaming a console game to their phone with the internet and then require and then trying to use a console controller strapped on with Bluetooth or USB connection, like looking like a friggin' Robocop. All hooked up and jacked up into the friggin' phone. That's not mobile gaming. That's not what mobile game is. Oh damn, yo, it is I just ran over this guy. He stuck to my car. Carmageddon stuff right there. Not right now. Dude. That's I'm done. 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 I was trying to death track. God of War. Alright, so let's see. Let's see. Uh so I can't. Let's do the um oh crap. Downloadable game. Let's see what we got here. So we got let me see. See so they put the PlayStation 2 games in here, but like here. Here's all your downloadable ones. Seven, seventy eight, seventy nine, eighty one, eighty two, eighty three, eighty four. 85. So 84. So you say 84. So you times 5. That's 20. 600. Right? 84 times 5. Because eight, well, I'm sorry. 80, 80 times uh, 8 times 5 is 40. So 400. Yeah, I said about 400 something games. Like 400. Like 400 something games downloadable. 430, 420 games. Yeah, like around that. 420. Because you got like 84. So. Just going off the top of my head. Because 80, 80, times, 80, 80 times 5 is, four, is a 400. So. And you got about 84. So. Yeah, 80, yeah like 420 games downloadable, dude. You know? You did? You played Death Track? I was trying that. So you got like oh, just over 400 games downloadable, okay? And then you got your PlayStation 3 games, which I think this is like another two, three. Like this is a, so if you got like 400 games downloadable, you got another like 400 or so games streamable. So again, you have over 800 games, close to 900 games in this system, in this in the service, with like more than half or about half or so downloadable. And you see it right here, like it's a lot of freaking games. But it's an option. Like, if I stop canceling this, I'm not going to go crazy. But, again, everybody says, like, what's well, old game? Like, look at, yeah, these are old games, you know, in here. But then this is where they pivoted. Look at the change. Like, right now, like I said, recently added. Like, look what they've added in the last few months. Like, they've been adding newer games or, or better games. Like, they're not these, like, oblivion kind of, like, PlayStation 3 old games. They haven't released a PlayStation 3 game in here in, in I think, like, the last three years. Since they started the downloadable stuff, they really haven't released PlayStation 3 games in here anymore. Everything they've been da uh, down they've been putting in here is downloadable. Now, the other thing that they changed was now they add about five or six games, but some of them are like in there for about three months or so. You know, like I, I don't know if uh, if this is in here, but they'll say like if they're in here for three months. Uh, I think we're yeah, see World War Z. So if we look at World War Z. It says that's there till September 6th, right? Uh, Ace Combat's there to May 31st. 
Second Son's in there indefinitely. Super Hot's in there indefinitely. So they got a couple of legacy games that they put in there, and then they got some games that they'll stay in there for a few months. Um, and then, you know, and then you could play them and downloadable and stream them. Now, a Black Ops, let's see if this is in here. This one's in here. So you could download this or you could stream it. You know, stream Black Ops 3. <laughs> you just bought it? <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, sorry, Sergeant. Yeah, I need I need to get the thousands for Super Chats. But what did you want to say? So, uh, Sergeant Salty Nuts, what's up? How you doing, man? How you doing? No problem. If you want to say something, just stay in the chat. I'm getting there. Thanks, Buck Roger. I'm getting there. We're getting. We're approaching a thousand. We're trying. I'm trying. If you're new, yeah, everybody, hit that sub button. Hit that like button. Wow, well, who wants to see Cold Duty? But I'm just saying, like, yo, this is streaming Black Ops right now. Now, the point I was saying earlier is that you don't need PlayStation Plus to play this game online. It's included in PlayStation Now. So any games that I just showed you in PlayStation Now that have online functionality, you don't need PlayStation. You don't need PS Plus for it. Okay? You don't need it. Uh, it's included in there. And that is definitely a little bit of a, a, a different a different aspect. As like I said, with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, whereas if you just signed up for the ten dollar Xbox Game Pass, you can't play CFDs. You can't play Master Chief Collection Online. You can't play um, you can't play these games with their online functionality because you got to pay for Ultimate, which Ultimate gives you access to PC Game Pass and also Xbox Live and X Cloud. So for the $5, obviously, it's worth it. But you're kind of like, you either go all in at $15 because if you separate it out at $10, you're really not getting the full experience of Game Pass. See, now on PC, $10 a month for Game Pass. PC. Now, I'm going to be interesting because they, they showed that they're going to do xCloud on, game, on PC. If they include xCloud on PC, is it going to be part of PC Game Pass or they're going to make us do xbox game pass ultimate on pc so are you going to pay ten dollars a month on pc or they're going to make you increase it now to 15 because xbox game pass on pc was five in the beta they increased it to 10 last year and now if they add streaming are they going to say well streaming option is only available on the ultimate version not on the simple pc game pass or xbox game pass again it's it's very confusing and that's the way they roll, and they're very fragmented in like what's on Android, what what has touch controls on Android, what what you know. Not all the Game Pass games on XCloud have touch controls on the phone. You got to use a controller. They added about twenty games that have touch controls, and they keep adding more. But again, it's it's not, it's very inconsistent. Like it's all just like, well, this game has it, this game doesn't. This game's over on Android, but not on the console. This game's on the console and on Android, but not on PC. Just like Outriders. That's on console and Android, but it's not on PC. Then there's games that are just on PC, like Gears Tactics was, or like Flight Simulator, and it wasn't on console. It really is, you know, so you're, you're depending on the devices that you own, the $15 a month varies, the value of it. This is just PlayStation Now. You can play it all on PC streaming, or you can play over 400 games downloadable natively on your PlayStation 5 or 4. Or you could stream the other, and you could stream the other 400 games. Or you could stream anything. And this is streaming right now. So I'm streaming right now Black Ops 3. That's part of PlayStation Now. Another thing I'll say, there's no Call of Duties in Game Pass. Anyone. Sony has Black Ops 3 in Game Pass. In, 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 in PlayStation Now. And we're not going to. I'm just showing you that it launches and stuff like that. But yeah, we're going to go. Now look at this. Like, it basically integrated. This is pretty crazy. Like, it integrated PlayStation Now Party. This is interesting. So, like, it's it's basically. I haven't done this before, actually. This is pretty interesting. Uh, I'm just using. Uh, what is it? Uh, HD 60 Plus Truity. The, um, the Elgato. The USB-C one? 
It's exactly, Sergeant. It's not as simple. Like, it, it, you know, it's not as simple. And that's the thing. Like, it, it requires a, you know, a complex kind of, like, what, what really is value. Like, if you own a gaming PC, a console, and an Android phone or a, or an iPhone, then maybe it is, you know. But you know, if you just own one part, maybe it's not as. I don't know. But it, it's not everything. This is Egyptian Minister Saeed. Whatever. Taken hostage by you. Uh, whatever, this, this whole thing. But what this is interesting, this is the first time I've seen this, though. Check this out. So, like, basically, it integrated... I'm streaming this game. Look, see? PlayStation Now, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is being streamed. But what's interesting is, is that it actually created a voice party, a game party chat for the game, as if I launched it natively on my console. And it also uh, put a gaming session for me that people could join in. I don't know what this does. I just hit something. Oh, look at that. It just put me in an online gaming session. Just like it would do with our native game. Even though this game is not on my console. That's pretty crazy. It basically treated as if this game was, was installed on my console. It's not. But it's giving me all the party features and chat features that it would. That is very interesting. That's the first time I haven't seen it. I, I didn't even know it does that. So let's see. What happened? Am I in a party or something? What the hell? I just want to get to the thing. I want to I want to see a latency. Human bio augmentation has become commonplace throughout the developed world. And this is crazy to watch this. You go Just like a regular game. Any game. So see any of these games that are streaming, it's showing me as if I play them. You know, with the um with the thing right there. But what's interesting is like so I'm like here you go to the PlayStation Store, you go to your settings and all that other stuff, but watch this. You click on this. It suspends it. Like, it runs it in the background. The NRC are going to be here soon. We got about one minute to create the mother of all distractions. Chat though, 20 people. Watch it. That like button. Get those likes. Let's see if I can get into this thing here. Let's go. Come on, Cody. I don't need all the, I don't need all the drama. Just get me into a mission. Copy that. Diverting traffic to runway one one. Oh, Call of Duty. You know, can I just get into a freaking game? Four zero one nine. We have a fuel fire on runway one nine. Divert course for landing to runway one one. Please confirm. And it sounds good too when it's streaming too. I can tell you, like when I'm playing those things. I know, Buck. Yeah, the grind to 1K. It's it's tough, but it's getting getting there. Yeah, you know, thank everybody for their support. Thank you. We got company. Let's see. Uh, Black Ops 3. Oh, this was not. I did not like this one, man. I did not like this one. Input confirmed. Targeting parameters accepted. Don't want to lose anybody because I'm showing Call of Duty. I mean, what? All is good down here. I'm just showing. It is streaming. Now. Firing. And this is the other thing, you can manage the save data. So now see. Whoa, this is some wild stuff right now. It is streaming on a PlayStation. Whoa, that is My mind yeah, this is whack. So this is streaming on a PlayStation 4. But it's but my my the PlayStation 5 Oh damn, hold on. Jesus. Uh oh, I'm one of those freaks. I play inverted. Sorry. I'm a I'm a freak. Freak? Where's my inversion? There we go. That's the only way I can play. Invert everything. So this is streaming through a PlayStation 4 on PlayStation Now, but it's also my the PlayStation 5 is recognizing it as if I downloaded it to the PlayStation 5. It's pretty wild. Because it created like a party. I got, I got, uh, 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 yeah, you got, see? It's pretty interesting. Even though the game's not natively on my console. So keep your mouth shut. That's pretty crazy. This is what I would do, like, to test out a game before everyone downloaded it. Once there, 
We'll be able to pinpoint the minister's exact location. Heads I know, Buck, right? Keep hey, last cool. year I was, I think I was at 300 people, so. Uh, hey, man. I'll follow your lead. Oh, right now I got my, my, my broadband was at 325 megabytes when I did this the last time and it was work great. Now I, I got the gigabyte now, finally. But again, I'm not even getting those connections. I tested this before and this is like 300 megabytes down and probably about like 9 up or 10 up. That's kind of what it, I just ran it before I did this. And I got people streaming some stuff upstairs and things like that. So, again, um, you know, I'm close to the router though. So, as I said, you know, this streaming, again, I'm not saying stream with death, like what people say, but I'm just saying, like, hey, it does work. And again, it's all depending on your internet connection. Just like when people say, I'm streaming to my phone, uh, yeah, well, that's going to be very dependent on, you know, your internet connection. You can't just say streaming to phones for a win. That's why I always say, like, your experience is going to vary based, if you're dependent on Wi-Fi, dependent on mobile internet, I, I don't know how you can consistently be like, yo, that's that's the future, man, dude. That's it. No, it's going to vary. And I tell you, in games, when you get hiccups and stuff like that, it takes you out. And you can see, like, I haven't had too many hiccups here. And when I tried it upstairs the with with um, Taylor, with the one that's a little further away, like, it, it, it works. I hear you, Hendrix. And I'm going to tell you honestly, too, like, I, uh, I finished Let's a couple of games just streaming, like, you? um, Everyone's gone to the rapture. Like I just didn't download it. I just kept playing it, and uh, and your saves work. You know, this guy's just doing everything for me. Yes, I got those speeds from my PlayStation Five, which always shows friggin' slow ass speeds. That's the two. Like I showed that that was my PlayStation Five. It's always slow. Yeah, exactly. It does show a slow speed. It does. Taylor. All right. Well, this is Call of Duty. Goddamn. Call of Duty, please. But yeah, like that was the game they just put that. Like, these are some of the popular games that are in there right now. I see like the Crew 2, like that's included. So that has online. You could use that. Um, and like Injustice 2, you could download this. Again, like the streaming stuff is really only really applicable to if you're just going to do this on PC or if you're going to just play PlayStation 3 games. And, uh, and then, yeah, see, they got some genres here. So here's sports games. Let's see what they got in your sports. Exactly, Truity, right. Like, the thing is, like, yeah, it's like so many games. Like, like how can you hate this? And so, well, The thing is, like I said before, like, a lot of it is this, this dismissiveness because there's, there's such this search for Microsoft and Xbox getting a W in everything that it just... It, it, it you know it, it just kind of like every like just like how everybody was just trashing on stadia like stadia is done because um you know what i mean because of the whole uh they just don't like x cloud is it that's it there's no other competition it's like no there's competition and if something gets better then they will have to get better you know what i mean the hot shots golf yeah Yeah, there's the other golf. Like, so they got some. I see Hot Shots Golf. This is the World Invitational. They also have Hot Shots. They have the, the tennis. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Like, I just feel, you know, and everybody's like, well, PlayStation. PlayStation now had a rough start. Remember, it just started, like, it was rough. And I can tell you, like, the beginning, when it was Gaikai and stuff, like, I, I tried it out. And it was it was definitely rough. Like when I first got my PlayStation Four and stuff, like it wasn't that reliable. But they got better over time. And I don't know what servers they're using now. If they are using Azure, I don't know. But over the and, and on the PlayStation Five, it has been really well well integrated, as you can see. That's why I wanted to revisit this because I did a video like this, I think, last year for PlayStation Now on the PlayStation Four, and, and uh, it was very popular. Everybody liked it. Um, you know, because you don't get to see. This, um, you know, a lot of people just like just go to Twitter and just say good, bad. Eh, well, so when I say something is good, I'm going to justify it and say like, yeah, I really truly believe this is good. This is not just like I'm auto. This is auto good because it's 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 uh, uh, Sony and it's auto bad because it's Xbox. No, 
there's legitimacy to like you know the things I look at as a consumer and where my money's going. I don't get free games. I don't get party chats with, with executives. I don't get likes and dislikes and get. I don't. That's why I created this. This is just how I feel about stuff, and I want to share this with everybody. Just so you see, like, this is what I see. You know, and I'm not saying I'm a PlayStation Now fan. I'm gonna buy a hat, PlayStation I'm Now, so and everybody should be doing this. No, man. I'm just showing like what it is, and for the price, dude, it's forty-four dollars. Like, come on. You're getting all this shit in $25. I ah, nice gadget guy. Yeah, so he says they did research development in it and optimize it with the networks. Nice. Cool, man. Yeah, I tell you. Like, I, that's why I'm trying to show the streaming over the internet. Nice. I'm glad, Brian V. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, because we doesn't like cool. cloud saving. Yo, this looks pretty damn good. Is this a PlayStation 3 game? This looks pretty damn good. Oh, no. Oh, now this is going to test the timing of latency. Let's see. Oh, oh damn. Yes, Truity. Yeah, I... Dude, like, that's, that's the biggest thing for me was, like, the whole... Like, just... Oh, man. I just make great games. Oh, look at that. There you go. Like, just make great games, man. And and I'm playing I I'm playing games. Like, I just don't the worst thing I hate is 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 having my time wasted. That's that's my biggest thing. And you know Don't waste my time with all this hyperbole about power and all this other stuff. Show me. Show me something. Don't sit around and just talk about potential. Show me the potential. Show me the games. Show me the features. Show me why I need to buy your product. That's that's it. That shouldn't be hard to ask for. If you're trying to sell a consumer electronic, show me. Dude, this is... I'm telling you, like... You're talking about, like, latency. First, I'm playing this through my friggin' Streamlabs. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty much hitting this stuff like right on. So the latency of the game is kind of like non-existent. It's pretty crazy. I, I'm surprised at how pretty... This looks pretty damn good. Damn, I got a bogey. I'm doing shit. I'm talking shit. And I'm like... Yeah, like that's the other thing, Sergeant. Like, just to be ha like Celebrate these services for what they are. They should be services that balance out your video game experience. They should be alternatives, backups. On a rainy day, somebody said in the chat. Like, they should be that. But don't take this and be like, oh, no, this is this is it, man. Buying games is old news. Shame on you for paying $60, $70 for a game. That's not the future. I remember when two years ago, cloud was the future, right? Oh, 5G is coming. Well, Stadia now is, is a face down ass up. Google, uh, uh, Amazon Luna, they've been blasting me to try that shit out. And PlayStation Now, yo, is that a friggin', is that a bear on the course over there? The hell? Damn it. Yo, that thing better not eat my friggin' golf ball. Yo, what's that big ass animal down near the hole? Dude, there was like something down there. Let's see if I can get this perfect shot here. Let's see. Oh! No, the tree! Damn! Oh! See, there's a little stutter. I just saw it. There you go. Let's see. Yo, there was some bear or some bullshit. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, there it is. Oh! Yo, maybe I'll get the play. I had the hot shots golf for um. Oh, dude, I never played this, man. I played it on the PlayStation Four. I played Hot Shots Golf um that they had on the PlayStation Four. I played, and then I did the VR. Oh, 
Oh, damn. What the hell is that all about? She's making all that noise. Yeah. Hook it. Hook it. Friggin' tree. Oh. Yeah, right? Crackdown 3. I know, man. Like, it, show me. Whenever it comes to... Halo's gonna be awesome. Open world. It's gonna be this. It's gonna be that. Show me. Here comes Craig with the hellish chest. Holy oh, sh... Come on, man. Temper expectations. Yeah, that's what it is. We keep talking about it, so that's why I'm all hyped. Ah, oh, damn. I should have pulled more to the right. Aww. You know, that's, that's the thing. That's what grinds my gears about that stuff. Like, it just... It triggers me, because I'm tired of the okay. talking, man. It's been talking like freaking five years. Let's go. And as they're talking, Sony's just saying, here's some games, dude. Enjoy. Game of the years. Here's some incredible games. Here's some more. Here's VR. Here's streaming services. Here's subscription services. Here's some free games. Dude. How can two companies, Nintendo and Sony, just be dominating consoles and just by giving great games and, and providing services... And selling millions, and then the other company just talking, 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 and struggling getting games out, but uh, but buying studio. Oh, it's a squirrel, buying stuff. For, and then when it comes to showing games, they get shook. Ah, oh, delayed and stuff. Like, come on. Let's see, let's see. I hook it. Ah, oh, too much. Damn it. I I hate putting. I hate goddamn putting. Focus. Focus. Let's go. Relax. All right. Yo, these people are just whispering in my ear. Oh, come on. Uphill. Son of a bitch. That's a bogey. All right, we're going to do one more. Man, I'm bogeying the shit out of this game. Damn. Yo, I'm going to try to kill a squirrel with a friggin' with a shot. Can I do, like, superpower? Let's go. Can I do like uh Oh there we go. I could I'm gonna carry a little bit. Oh whoa 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 there we go. Get ready. We're gonna hook it a little. We're gonna There it is! Nice a shot. Nice a shot. Let's see, I don't think I don't think can you do multiplayer in this? Let's see. Oh let me finish this hole. Uh oh. Oh crap. How am I supposed to do that? Yo, yeah, really? You think? Well, I'm gonna hook this then. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna. This thing. This is not gonna. Yo, she's not gonna hit through these friggin' trees. Let's see. Perfect shot. Look at this in between the trees on the path. Yo. There it is. There it is. Let's use some of that finesse right now. There we go. Uh-oh. A little too much. Yeah. Too much gym. No. Oh, look at this. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Shit. Uh-oh. Here we go. See? Yo, I'm going this way. Let's see. Yes, I know. Everybody's yelling in my ear. Calm down, everybody. Chill. Whatever your name is, get ready for the big Shit, even place. Arnold's here. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I pull like Happy Gilmore. There it is. Let's see. Think, think too much to the left? It's getting late. I've got a parade to go to. Now I've yet to see a sign of this supposed government doll. Oh, you f No shit. That's a bogey. I hope this is not I true. Can do this. <laughs> Thanks, Buck. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what all that that stuff is. The hell! Oh, kill the birds! I want. I saw a friggin' bear. There's a goddamn bear out there. Yo. Go down the hill. Go, go, go. See, I should have put some toss in. Stop it! Let's see. This sucks. Yeah, I don't think this is... Uh, I'm going this way. See, if I hit it, it's going to hit that. How do I put the freaking spin on the ball? 
There it is. There it is. I'll let the wind carry it. No. What a hazard! What? Bullshit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look at that. Because I pulled it, it got to the fairway. How do I know this is not some kind of a scam? <laughs> Hook it. Yo, perfect shot. Here it is. Hit the pole. Bitch, get in there. It's trouble time. After I got the water hazard, shit. There it is. Oh, yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh shit, double bogey. It's alright. You're my number one customer. Alright. Dude. I'd be trash, that one. Let's see. I don't think you could do this online. Then they have like the street version of this, like something like that. They have that in place. You must be tired. Yeah, I am. This is probably busted. Let's see. I'm not telling. Not telling. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? No, I don't want to be less than ten. No! USA! USA! No, I don't want to go. What is this? Why are you asking me all this stuff? I just want to play the game. Why I got to fill out like a friggin' uh... Jesus. I got Phil Nesta Wood as I did. Let's see. There's nobody playing this online, right? Let's see. Oh, damn. Who's this dude? Yeah, I'm happy. Let's go. Let's go. This... Oh, my gosh. You made a doll of me. <laughs> this is not worth it. I've been terminated. I've got news for you. You are mine now. You belong to me. <laughs> Dude, my online got my online got terminated. <laughs> it's like nobody's playing this. You silly ass. <laughs> well, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's see. I'll go back here. All right, let's see. We got Eve Combat. We got all right. So here's the prices. So we got oh, here's some co-ops. They got some co-op games in here. See, here's the ratchet. All right, so let's do some searches. So let's see. We got we already looked at Bethesda. Let's see Ratchet games and PlayStation Now. Let's see Ratchet. Who's a fan of Ratchet? Let's see. Oh crap! I spelled Ratchet wrong. Oh shit! Hold on. Ratchet, you son of a bitch. He's rat. He's friggin' rat. Here we go. Ratchet and Clanks. We even got friggin' Ratatouille. Phil cut the cord. He's like, no more online for you. So we got Kraken Time, all for one. Into the Nexus. Future Quest for Booty. <laughs> the Search for Matt Booty. Oh, damn. They got the Search for Matt Booty. And then they got Full Frontal. And then Ratatouille. So you got Ratchet and Clanks. Then somebody said they wanted to see Resistance. Oh, we got Re oh, what is this? We got Resident Evil. There we go. Resistance three, Resident Evil. So all these are now. So we got Resident Evil four, including PlayStation Now. Resident Evil Darkside Chronicles. I don't remember this game. What the hell is this one? Darkside Chronicles. Operation Raccoon City. Dude, I'm going to tell you right here. Guilty pleasure right here. The booty has got a wall. The, the online where you played this online and you had the zombies and the... Yeah, I, I kind of dig that. I like that. But that game was horrible, though. Operation Raccoon City. Go Veronica. Umbrella Corpse. Revelations. So here's your Resident Evils. Five. And four. And uh, four you could stream. And I think five you could stream. Yeah, because they're PlayStation 3 games. 
yeah. A lot of PlayStation 3 Resident Evils. And then, yeah, the Umbrella Corpse, you could download that. Then you got Resistance 3. I think it's the only Resistance. Do I have Resistance 2? Uh, I think it's only Resistance 3. You only got Resistance 3 in there. I thought they had 2. Oh, well, who's got Resistance 3 in there? Matt Booty Cat. <laughs> Ratchet Clank, search for Matt Booty. You have me, right? Con men, thieves, degenerates, lowlifes, thugs, criminals. PlayStation 3, it's crazy. See, I was playing. And again, just note everything that I, I've, I've shown today, or tonight, has been streamed. Alright? Over PlayStation 5, have been streamed. Uh, just show you some of the capabilities, because I think everybody just says PlayStation Now is all, all about streaming. It's not. But you can. And when you do, this is the results. Say your results. Here's some of the results I can show you. Never understood why PlayStation. Oh man, this guy, this guy's pissed. Dude, he's pissed. You know what else works too? Uh, any kind of uh, motion control, like analog tilting and stuff like that, that also works on PlayStation, over PlayStation now as well. Yeah, now I gotta get the. All right, chill, dude. Oh no! It's hurt, man. I need ammo. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Oh man, he shot the sign down. All right, stop talking and shoot. Shoot him. Lights out, Christmas tree. Did I get him? I don't know what freaking ammo, dude. Dude, I never played it in Distance 3. Never played it. I played Resistance 2 now. Alright, I got my gun now. Hey, you guys came in for an epic boss fight. Yes, it does have that fallout filter. Yo, this guy, come on, man. Is he done? I think he's done. We got him. 
Alright, man. I know, man. I know Gadget. That would be, it would be cool. I, their the weapons were so Get cool. Like, I remember that from Resistance 2. And the multiplayer was pretty damn cool, too, with the multiplayer that they had in Resistance 2. All scouts report in. North outpost clear. South outpost clear. West outpost is clear. Tommy Dean reporting. You know, they talk about, like, game preservation and things like Tommy that. Tommy Dean, do you read me? You know, the thing is, it's like... Joe... This is the similar oh. thing, man. Like, you're streaming this stuff, like, from the PlayStation 3. You. I'm okay. Just to show you some of that I'm finesse. Okay. Like, here you go. Like, look. Oh, fever's down. A little. You got on the PlayStation 3 thing. Oh. Joe, I can't reach Tommy Dean. His radio's probably out again. The Chimera. Should I send one? Look. All right. It's your PlayStation 3. Yeah. I'll check it out. Okay. Joe. Crazy. Be careful. And you get trophies and everything. Well, when there were trophies, because remember, early on, they didn't have all the trophies. No. We will not. It's a chimera. Was that chimera? Joe, honey, are you there? Bobby saw a dropship coming into land near you. Be careful. Here, take these shrapnel grenades. Dale packed him good and tight. So I got that way. Shrapnel, man. Man. Holy crap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn. <laughs> whoa. Give me their weapon. I haven't tried this yet on the PlayStation, like with the PlayStation now on PlayStation 5. I can't believe how much better, like, I don't know. It's better than how it was on the PlayStation 4, I tell you. And this is streaming and streaming. Like, I'm doing this through OBS. Like, I'm playing this through OBS. I'm not playing this natively on my TV. Like, I'm playing this through OBS. It's crazy. On two different screens right now. That is insane. And I'm streaming to YouTube. Man. There you go. So like you can see, like latency wise, like I'm pretty I'm pretty hitting on these things. Like there's not much. So again. Let's see. I'm trying to play enough of these things so you can kind of get an idea. Just tapping. Very responsive. <laughs> Here. Oh, it's all here. 
I thought I was supposed to go in here. Oh, we're going inside. Everybody seems like my name, man. Jesus, everybody yelling. Everybody be yelling. Me. Storm's coming out at the ridge. It ain't like no storm I ever seen. Come on, I'll show you. Seems like I'm the only guy in this place. Get ready. Get him. Shoot him in the cornfields. Look at that AI diving away from. Uh, do you want me to go show you Halo Infinite AI? What happens when you get thrown a grenade at somebody? They just stand there and smile at you. Why are they diving out of the way in PlayStation 3 games here? There's a lot more wrong with that Halo Infinite demo than just Craig. Damn it. What's... It's freaking cornfields. You can't see anything. Oh no! Look at that, she has an arm off. Oh! Oh! Yo, I shot his foot off! Yo, he was trying to run away. I shot his foot off. Spoiler. <laughs> I will take back the farm. Tommy. Tommy Dreamer. Get over here. Oh, there he is. Get me in there, Tommy Dreamer. Yeah, as long as I shot his foot. As you know, I, lo I like this moment. Sick. I like that. <laughs> Tell me I'm crazy. Adds to the variety. What the hell is it? It's a terraformer. Susan, you there? We won't be safe underground. We have to evacuate the town. Hey guys, that like button. You know, I, I'm probably gonna, I might do more streaming, man. But definitely, this is fun. I like this. I do some streaming natively on the PlayStation, but yeah, I might do some of stuff for the PC because this is pretty awesome. But at least I could do games where it doesn't block because that's what I was having a problem with Persona. It was blocking and stuff. But this is cool, man. I'm gonna finish this stuff up. Chapter three. Let's just see if I can push this thing and see if it uh, it crashes the legs or whatever like that. This is working pretty damn well. Whoa, look at this guy. See, I hope, man. I hope, like when I'm playing first person shooters, man. I'm hoping Halo got these moments. I want epic moments. I don't want to go throw a bunch of guys on a warthog. I want to see some of this. Whoa! Yeah, that was pretty crazy. I want epic, epic moments. Get in the house. Dude. That's a big one, dude. Run our way. Dude, we're in, we're in trouble, dude. That thing just like Lead the in way, trouble. Joe. I'm right behind you. Uh oh, me? Alright. Look at that guy. Whoa, look at that. Oh, 
Oh man, he put up a. Yeah, I took his head off. Now, now he's not shooting through walls. I got him. I got him. Yeah, he's just shooting through walls. Yeah, it's so satisfying shooting these guys. It's so fun. Can I get his gun? Ooh, yes, I can. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, I got it. Ooh, now I can shoot the rolls. That steel hit dropped its auger. It's yours now. You hear that? I think there's more of them on the other side of this wall. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Oh, it is. <laughs> yo, yo, gun shoot through walls. The only gun I remember is from Perfect Doc, the original with the mag rifle. You're able to do that multiplayer, man. Perfect Doc with the, the gun that sees through walls. Oh, yeah, I see him. Oh, there's one. I got the finesse going on here. Holy crap. Dude, this is on PlayStation 3. My God. Crazy. I know Insomniac keeps teasing this stuff, like the resistance. The destruction's crazy. Just give me this stuff. Wobs. Okay, cool. The hedgehog. Yo, that's pretty cool. Son of a bitch. I know I got I three different sad, grenades. But I ain't just angry. All right, man. You look pissed. Let's get back to town. We get through the mill and we're home free. Come on, Joe. What's this? Oh, I got the auger again. Take him out. No. I hit him with the hedgehog. Take him down. Ooh, that's a pretty cool sound. Got hit in those first. Big guy, dude, look at the size of this guy. You guys. Oh! Take that! Gave him a what for. It does, I'm surprised, man. This thing is holding up pretty well. Oh, I'm not holding up that well, though. Damn, they got me. What's up, Sam Walton? Yo, thanks for subscribing, man. I saw you subscribe. Thank you. Almost there. Town's just ahead. Give me these hedgehog things. I threw those out prematurely, man. Come on. Let's go kill some more of those rat bastards. Rat bastards. I want to throw that hedgehog. Watch this. Oh, I spiked them. All right, are you gonna stop talking and you're gonna fight him, right?
No! Yo, J Dub City's coming on. There he is. J Dubs. Shout out to J Dubs. Coming on the game and grind. Holy crap! Uh, holy shit, let's get the hell out of me, that son of a bitch. Enough from me. We're gonna have the games do our talking. Oh, damn. Almost there. Town's just ahead. Come on. Let's go kill some more of those rat bastards. Yes, this big guy. Who is it? They're over there. Look, see, there he is. That's the guy that's getting me. Hit the wrong button. There they are. Yeah, you put up a shield. I got you. I'm gonna put my shield. Sounds like Star Wars. This thing looks like. Tell you, man, this is pretty accurate. It's pretty solid shooting, considering this is streaming. I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, man, how, how good this is working. I didn't think it was gonna be this good. I knew it was good, but. Especially considering everybody says how bad this is, right? Come on now. Everybody's just lying. Let's get that guy. Oh, here he is, dude. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Killzone 2 is really good. I like Killzone 2. Again, I'm a huge Halo fan, but I appreciate Killzone 2. Killzone 2 is real. Was good. And like I said, oh, oh, uh oh. I only played Resistance 2. I didn't play this one. I remember this came out like right when Gears came out. I remember Resistance and Gears always like you go head to head. They would always go like head to head. Like this would be kind of be like a first person like type, like with the with the aliens and stuff like the locust and the chimera. Let's get back to town. But it would always be like kind of this. Sounds like our two. guys got him held on the bridge. Let's flank him. Ready? Uh, I guess. Yo, Sam. Yeah. He was grinding my gears, man. But Wooly did a good job. But come on, uh, that I was I was listening to that show, that debate. I was like, come on, man. What are we doing here? Like I spent so much money on Microsoft products, and not just Xbox, but so much. That's why I get so disappointed. And I did this grind my gears because they just like they just seem disconnected a lot. Like with just what they do, they'll tell you that they hear you and stuff. But I spent so much money and so much investment. I have just about a hundred thousand gamer score, four hundred games or something like that on that. That dude is like, it sits there. He's like, I'm not no gamer. I have a thousand gamer score, but he's like talking about X Cloud and Game Pass and Jesus, like, man, trigger me. Yo, look at this mess. But like, again, like you know, I don't, whatever. That's all I heard. I was just like, but yeah, we'll dig well. Shout out to Willie. Saltiest panel member. There we go. Did it, baby. Thanks, Joe. You got here just in time. Oh, what's We're up, shooting? Sinister V? How you doing, man? Near the bank. Scrounge for weapons and ammo. Then get back to town. There's more of them on the way. Oh, damn. They're still coming? There is no rest. I'm trying to use the phone! <laughs> <laughs> Joe. 
Susan. Is Jack okay? Yes, he's in the tunnel. Get him. Grab all the food, water, and blankets you can carry. Lester, barricade that street. Chimera and ground troops will be here in a few minutes. We'll have to hold them off till the rest of the town evacuates. I want to know who got us into this mess. Exactly, Sam. I know. I had two game PCs. I got, like, uh, don't even. It's just, exactly. If you, if you don't game, like, and again, Achievement Stores is not, like, again, I'm not a trophy hunter or anything like that, God but, like, damn fool, you, let him right to us. you know, Platinum still Hunter and stuff like that, but still, like, What's going on? I have all these, the score, like, I'm not a Platinum Hunter, but I got a huge score because I play everything. Joseph, and I buy and stuff. I, 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 like, you know. That's the thing. Like, still. Like, if you're not in a game, like, I, if you're not in it, then why do you even care? Like, I understand if you care. Like, Game Pass, I care if games get compromised for a subscription. We've seen what 99 cent mobile games have done to what cell phone games are. They're free now with services and subscriptions and loot boxes and all that stuff. We saw that. That's why I don't want everything to be a subscription. Subscriptions are nice, but there still needs to be... Just like there's movies and movie theaters and big movies, and there's Netflix. It could work in tandem. And there's special situations where one will benefit from a service and one will benefit from a big blockbuster hit. But I don't want to say like, oh, those blockbusters... They just want blockbuster hits to end because they know that... Microsoft is the service. Sony loves their blockbusters. So if blockbusters end, then Sony ends. And that's how I think people think. And I don't know how you think that. How you would want that. Everything's going to be streamable. Uh, okay. But, every, but VR sucks, though, right? V, nobody does VR, but everybody's streaming. Oh, oh really? Okay. Everybody's streaming... The, Console games. I want to take this game. I want to play this on my five-inch phone and hook a uh, controller to it with a, with a USB, and then use 4G and 5G while I'm walking around at a bank. Come on. These are console games. Mobile gaming is different. Call of Duty on mobile phones is natively built for a phone. They're not console games just streamed to a phone. Like, and that's why you're seeing. Games like Gears 5 and these things like, you know, Bleeding Edge and Crackdown 3. These games are on every device, dude. They're on a billion PCs. They are on Android phones. They're on xCloud. Has the, has the needle moved at all for those games? Did those games see some unfound success? Did they? Because they were on a billion devices. The only success that was seen was Microsoft putting their games on Steam, which is not a subscription, which is not a service. That's the only success that Microsoft found, I think, out of this whole thing, is putting their games on Steam day and date. And that's where they're seeing the most success. Look at Forza Horizon 4. Look how many people are playing that now on Steam. That thing is, look at Sea of Thieves. Dude, Sea of Thieves was on Game Pass for three years. On PC. On PC. It was on in Game Pass for three years since launch. Were PC dudes going crazy about it? No. And when it went to Steam, then people bought it. It showed how many people held out and didn't subscribe to Sea of Thieves. They didn't. Same thing with Forza. Forza 4 was there for two years in, in, on, on PC. If you had PC, you could play Forza 4. I did. But you had to go through the Xbox store, the Microsoft store. They didn't. Instead, they waited for it to come to Steam, and then it blew up. So Microsoft's greatest success story right now is putting their games on Steam. All right? And PC Game Pass is nice, but the thing is, is that if majority of the people are buying the games on Steam, Microsoft wants you to get that stuff through the Windows 10 store for subscriptions. So, you tell me. That's the thing. Get into trouble. And that's where they found their success. By putting their console games on Steam day and date to download. That's it. Putting their games in Game Pass on Windows 10 Store. Look at that guy. 
made him turn to Superman. Whoa, look at that. But uh, that's not, I don't want everything to be like that. And that's the, the way Microsoft's rolling. It's like, you know, everything is Game Pass or bust. And that's why people just dismiss this as, oh, it's Game Pass. Well, what's wrong with this? Why is Game Pass a uh, best value in gaming, but just I counted over 900 games, over 400 games downloadable, and another 400 games streamable, only streamable, you can still stream anything. Why is why is that an L or a failed service? And for $60 a year, or well, $44 when it's on sale, versus $180, for what? This is, this is what I don't understand. Why don't we talk equally about these services? If you really want competition, why don't you really, like, why is this dismissed as, as just, like, garbage? What, because Sony don't promote it? Why would Sony need to promote this? They, they do promote it. It's on sale. It is what it is. It's another service. It's an option. Putting everything in the Game Pass Day 1, that's not my option. That's Microsoft wants everything in the Game Pass Day 1. Not me. <laughs> That's right, Mog, right? Racing games and shooters. Yeah, it is satisfying shooting these guys. I tell you that. I like the dramatic. I like how they die. But anyway. Exactly. Dollar Tree. The, the, and, and we've seen this, Sam Ash. We've seen what Dollar Tree games have done. You've seen what it did to the mobile store and, 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 uh, and phones. They bottomed out, dude. Get over here. Should I take a snapshot and see if he looks like Craig? Look at these guys. Oh, ho, ho. Yo, let's pop this head off. But yeah, we shouldn't we shouldn't take our hobby and race to the to the cheapest to the cheapest option. You know, that's the thing, and that's where I get kind of like, hey, I don't want to spend top dollar for anything, but yet I don't want the quality and what I'm playing and what I'm playing to go down. You know, that's that that's. Yo, that's what I don't want. Exactly, Sam. Like that's yeah. Like don't cheapen my hobby. If it's if you can make great games for cheap value, for for cheaper, fine. But I don't want to race to the bottom. All right, just for casual. Oh damn, he just ripped that guy's head off. You know, just for casual, for for Fred to to kind of check out Gears Five on his cell phone. We gotta add Jack. We gotta uh. You know, we gotta make it easy, accessible, streamable. Now, I don't need—I don't want my game to be compromised for that casual audience because it's in a, because oh, a billion people on the yo, look at that man, yo, it is crazy. I can't believe that. The, friend, the satisfying thing. That's a thing. <laughs> the guy just dissolved him in there. I blew him up. And that's why when people just take Game Pass and blow up, I have nothing problem with the service. It's great. But let it be what it is. Dude. And let them prove to us why it's great. They have yet to. Outriders is a great move. Is it a one-off like Devil May Cry? Or is this going to be the future? Are they going to be dropping third party? I don't know. I don't know. But we can't just be like, they win oh, by default because because I want them to. Well, then you're capping. You know? You want it to win. Fine. 
church. If PlayStation Now went away tomorrow, I don't know. It's gone. Okay. You know, I guess it wasn't the best thing they wanted. But I tell you, like... Yo, I have no more ammo. I lost all my ammo. I know, right? And that's another thing, too. But, you know, that's the other thing, too. A lot of people, too, that are on the service... Like, this is the thing. Like, a lot of people that are on the service now are most likely people that either took their Xbox Live and upgraded for a dollar and now are stacked for Game Pass for two years. Um, because it's going to be... It'll be hard to continue paying $15 a month for Game Pass when you have up and down months, right? Like, yeah, you're doing. Um, you know, the end of March now to April is an up month with the Bethesda games, I guess, and these games. But with, with Outriders. But when you look about it, when you think about it, how does it look when everybody's paying $15 a month? Like now, there's no stacking or, or anything with, with PlayStation now. Or with Play there's no stacking. It's on sale for $15 or for $44 or for $60. It go that's the regular price for a year. But the thing is, is that there's no like, hey, I got a PlayStation now stacked because I upgraded from my PlayStation Plus and I upgraded for a dollar and I only paid $120 for three years of Xbox Live and then I just added a dollar to it and it turned it into Ultimate for three years. I'm locked in. Go do a survey. See how many people have done that route for Game Pass. It's telling because those people already paid up for two years. So all the stuff coming to Game Pass is whatever. Wait till everybody has to pay a la carte $15 a month, and those deals are over. And then we see the true subscriber counts to Game Pass. And that's what I think Microsoft is, is, is saving these games for. They're not stupid. And that's the thing. Like, all this freebie shit now that's going on, Microsoft, they delayed a little a year. They're in no rush, dude. They're in no rush because they know that all you people that have Game Pass right now are signed up. Locked in. That's why they save. That's why all those games they showed you have no dates, like Avowed and Fable and Perfect Dark. Yeah, that's coming years from now when you're gonna be paying fifteen dollars a month because your uh, stack is done. So, you know, they're not stupid, man. Nothing's free ever, man. It's oh, you're gonna pay the piper. That's why be careful what you wish for. All right. And be honest with yourself. If, 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 if there's a, a service that's doing something good, you, you can't just dismiss it. You can't dismiss this. All right? And I'm playing streaming on a console. This still doesn't work on an Xbox. You can't stream to xCloud to a console. They're waiting for this to come to PC. I don't know, man. I don't like streaming, but hey, this is working pretty damn well. And the thing is... It's good for just messing around, playing some PlayStation 3 games, and this is the reason why it's streaming. Because these games... Now, Sony makes you download PlayStation 3 games, and you can play this, and and then it upgrades. Like, I do like what Xbox does with that thing, where they take the 360 games and they kind of make them run better and stuff like that. Hey, that's got a trophy. Like, that's good. Like, if you're going to get this game running better, even though it's running pretty well. Like, that's nice. I like that they did that. But again, that's backup, dude. That's that's extra. That's not the main course. The main course of the big games coming down. Those are the that's the main course. All this this is a bonus. This is a bonus to God of War. This is a bonus to Last of Us 2. Bonus to Returnal. Bonus to to all those games that they offer. This, this is all extra. This is all extra stuff that Sony's offering. That's how I feel. This is all the bonus stuff. Like, if this was all they did, I'll be like, uh, maybe not. Yo, this is storming. This is crazy. Look at this. I can't believe this is a freaking PlayStation 3. You gotta be kidding me. The storming stuff? And it's holding up too. Can I shoot my 
Yo, this storm is getting insane. But anyway, yeah, I just get ticked off. When people just, like, just like. Talk as a consumer. If you really are a consumer. If you're not playing games and not buying games, then, you know. That's why I'm here. Just say, hey, as a consumer, this is what's there. You decide. You might not want You're like, I did this already. Okay, fine. Don't do it. Get it. I'm not going to shame you. Like, people shame. Exactly. Or, well, hey, I'll pay $60 for that game. $60? I'm getting games for Doll Bill Phil. It's like, okay. Let's, uh... Now buying games is bad now. Okay. Like, come on. I saw that whole thing with Outrise. I saw all these people, like, canceling pre-order, canceling pre-order. And I'm like, oh, man, what a message. Like, like, oh, my God. Like, how the hell did that come out? I was like, yeah, did you pre-order any? Oh, no, what's this? All these people are canceling your pre-orders. Oh my god. Locust. Oh my god. Where'd he go? Holy crap, he jumped up there? Oh, we got his armor off. Yay, thank you. I'm not stopping. Oh, shoot his other hog. Got him. There we go. Uh oh. Yo, he's coming after me. We got him. Woo! Hey, if I don't think a game's worth $60, then I won't pay $60. I'll wait for it to sell. And that's it. Wait for sale. Like, Outriders, I'm not, I'm not going to. I don't care for the demo. I'm not dropping $60, but there are people that will. That's fine. And a game like that, I think, will benefit from Game Pass. And I think it's a great move. I want to see more of it. And then I then I'll raise an eye bank. Oh. Maybe Game Pass is turning over new with King Kong. Yeah, it did like King Kong there. But you know? I will say. All you can do is comment on what I see and what I've have seen in the past. That's all you can do. You know, all this wish and hoping for the future and, and it's like, oh, Come this on. is the future. Well, what does that do for you now? Exactly, Mog. If you aren't willing to pay $60 for a 20 hour game, then just don't value it. Then, then, then don't get it. Susan, what are you doing? We gotta get out of here. I am tired of watching my son die. Oh my god. Susan, yeah, he's infected. Go. Dr. Malikoff says that if you go to New York. What are you saying? If there's a chance. If there is any chance. And as X. And if, if Game Pass does better than you know, go, Sony, will definitely never, pivot do and do that. Don't but. Do that to me. I can't see Sony just like dissolving all their first party and just saying, dude, it's all subscriptions or nothing. And that's what Microsoft kind of did. They, but that was a way for them to survive because when you say Mog, like people weren't willing to pay the money. Like the thing is, is that it's true. Like they probably were not buying these games at the rate that Microsoft needed them to buy to make these, these games worth for them. So they found the fail-safe way by putting it all on a subscription base. Holy crap, this is crazy. Terraforming, look at that. But that's, yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, shout out to everybody watching. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe if you're new. We've been going. A big in-depth review and look at PlayStation Now and the services at the PlayStation on the PlayStation 5. Uh, and just kind of cross-comparing it with Xbox and, you know, just making sure that 
you know, people see what the service offers and, and things like that. And, you know, if you think about PlayStation Now, PlayStation Plus, and even EA You're Access, right thing, 60, 60, and 30. You're looking at $150 a year, which is still $30 less than a Game Pass Ultimate. So, like, you know, it, it, and you're getting over 800, 900 games on PlayStation now, about 400 and something downloadable, and about 400 and something streamable. Only streamable. And I've been streaming this stuff there, so when people just say, you know, PlayStation Now sucks and the streaming, the streaming sucks. I don't know. I haven't seen... Actually, you know what's interesting? I haven't seen any, that much artifacting. I haven't seen a lot of glitching. Um, it's been pretty well, you know. So, you know, if you need update kind of, you know, to, to show people how PlayStation you know, streaming is, you know, there it is. Frogs playing Remnant. Damn. Does it work with hot with the swap? Let me see. Yo, that's pretty crazy. It works with the swap, the PlayStation, uh, the five switcher. So it just kind of launches it and cl it closes that game and it launches the other one. And that too, Ghostface. Yeah, there is a lot of exclusive stuff in here, unique stuff in here. You know? Yeah, so it does do that. But yeah, and just to kind of close, um, where is it? Uh, yeah, so it does, it closes my last session. Does that. Okay, so it does work. Okay, it's just like if I chose the game on my home. Yeah. Oh, and you want to see something else while we're here? Yeah. So, PlayStation 5 version of the Avengers, if you hit this, you got the PlayStation 4 version of the Avengers. See how you have the little PlayStation 4 up there? This is the thing that everybody was talking around, okay? I just wanted to, to I just want to, the, the whole save thing. I agree. Sony definitely is, it's a little, it's definitely more confusing while I was describing this. Um, because they have a, a PlayStation, they basically have a PlayStation 4 built into the PlayStation 5. Um... And they have two different types of saves. They got the PlayStation 4 save and the PlayStation 5 save. Well, those are not compatible across them. So some of these games have a built-in save migration, right? So everybody's making a big deal about a smart delivery. And I agree. Xbox is nice with their smart delivery and the fact that it does just grab the latest save from the cloud and, and just installs it. I had some issues with that. You know, with some of the games where they will be updated on one console, but then when I brought it to another console, that console did not have the update of the game, and Xbox will pull the latest save, and that save will, will not work and be corrupt because it's trying to put on a game that's not patched yet. But I have no control over it. You know, and, and on the one thing I do have to say is that on this one, at least on the PlayStation, you do have control over your, your saves, like your uploads and downloads. But the big deal that everybody's been making a big deal about is that if you have the PlayStation 4 version of the Avengers, right, you boot it up. So you just hit version. And this is what you do. You hit play. Yeah. And you know what, too? The Marvel Avengers, like, it doesn't look that much better. The 60 frames is nice, but it doesn't look that much better. Like, it's okay. It's still a grind. My son's like in the uh, we're just going through, we're just going through the, the the story and that's it and then I'm done. Just like I did with this, I went through the story and I was done. But this is the big deal. Everybody's like, oh, smart delivery and and PlayStation. It's so it's so horrible. Well, yeah, this is what happens, right? You boot up the Avengers on the PlayStation Four or the PlayStation Four version. It has your save, right? This is the PlayStation 4 version of the game. It said it. I hit play. Let's see if this works now. 
But this game, I don't know. I just go through the story and that's it. I'm not doing a grind. I'm not finding the robot. I'm sick of robots. The Marvel Universe, all they have is freaking robots. Now, if I might say one thing, the load times. Holy crap. On the PlayStation 5, the load times are... You'll see. See this? These load times? You go here, watch. What do I... Oh, my God. This is the PlayStation 4? Look. Save migration. You click this. Then... You go like this. PlayStation 5 version. And it booted up and had my save. That's it. I just, in the game, I just hit save migration. That's it. Watch how fast this loads up. Boom. How's that? that that's something right there for you, the, the thing. And then just a little of my save. You want to see something crazy? Watch this. Watch how fast this freaking loads up. It doesn't even show like the the characters anymore. I thought we got rid of those. Titles. Like it doesn't even show the freaking characters yeah, like anymore. Like it's crazy. Like it was, a, it was a decent okay, looking game. Harm exercise back online. Helps but keep busy. the grind sucks. You can access it now if you want. But dude, and then also it has the activities. You know, activities that nobody cares about. You got those things. But yeah. But that's it. And it's save by save. And, and, and that's it. I hit migrate save. And that was it. So I don't know. I guess other people had issues with it. But you know. Uh, granted it is a little more confusing. Like it is definitely a little more. An extra step that you have to do. But um, yeah. But at least you manage like where your save is. And stuff like that. Like the manual control. Um, Xbox is auto, but with the, the, but you lose the control with the auto. You know, it just grabs the latest save from the cloud. You have no control. It's like, oh, but I had, I had my other save, and you know that that one didn't upload because I was playing offline, and now you now you have no control over that. You have to go to that thing and upload. But it does work. Like you know, I do like like that that save where you just play the game where you left off. It's pretty awesome. But Sony does it too with the updates. But the thing is that they handle. They're cross-save. Just like if you bought a PlayStation 3 or you bought an Xbox 360 and you played the 360 or PlayStation 3 version of Call of Duty Ghosts, right? Well, then you go buy the PlayStation. You get that free upgrade. The PlayStation 4 version of Ghosts or the Xbox One version of Ghosts, well, that 360 save is not coming to your Xbox One. That PlayStation 3 save is not coming to your PlayStation 4 unless you go to that system. And they have the same thing. And then you have to upload your save from the from the game on the older system, so it goes to their cloud where it converts it to a PlayStation Five or the next gen save. And then when you launch the next gen gen save, it pulls it because it converted it. The system's not. Then the system should have converted it, but my, Sony again treats their system PlayStation Four is basically embedded in the PlayStation Five. That's only explanation. But you know maybe it gets better. You know, but. Hey, that's the way it is, but that's the what I did. So I'm just showing you what I did. I went to the PlayStation 4 version, and, and it is confusing because you're here, and you're like, wait, what is this? And you could hit start and go game version. And you got PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation. See, now you have the PlayStation 4 of the Avengers. Now, granted, you got to install two versions of it, but you could always delete it. You know, you come over here. I, I don't need the PlayStation 4 version anymore. But one thing I am going to tell you, Grinders, and I'm glad to hear, is that because you can play two different versions of the game, hear this. People will say, well, that's horrible. You know, why, why would I want the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 4 version on the same console? Well, hear this. If you have two consoles or if you have a PlayStation 4, right, you could play both instances on the same profile. So him and I said this before in one of my tip videos that I have earlier, is that basically, if my so, so say like somebody's playing Fortnite PlayStation Five version of Fortnite, there's no PlayStation Four version of Fortnite, right? And I want to play a PlayStation, I want to play PlayStation Two, but somebody's on my account playing online 
a PlayStation 5 game. Well, guess what? I could be on my same account and I could play the PlayStation 4 versions or PlayStation 4 games on a PlayStation 5 with the same account. So I, if, if I'm saying, hey, you know what? I want to play uh, a backwards compatible game. So, like, you know, I wouldn't do this, but say, hey, somebody's playing my PlayStation 5 version of, uh, of Astro Bot. They're playing Astro Bot or something like that. Well, I could still play on my PlayStation 5 with my account online, but I just got to play the PlayStation 4 version of it. So it's kind of like having two consoles built into one. And you could be on you could be on both instances on this on different PlayStations just playing a PlayStation 4 game versus a PlayStation 5 game. You just can't be on the same generational game, if that makes sense. So if you can't have two people playing a PlayStation 5 game on your account. But you could have somebody playing you could have two people on PlayStation 5s playing a PlayStation 4 game on your account. And playing a PlayStation 5 game on your account. So there is a benefit with the way to have it set up. Whereas on Xbox, your account is your account. If you log on to your Xbox and somebody's logged on to another Xbox, it kicks you off. That's It's like, oh, you, but you were on this one. Oh, you're on that one. Goodbye. And it did it with the PlayStation 4 as well. If you turned on a PlayStation 4 and tried to log into your account and somebody was using it, it would just kick you off. And the Xbox... One and series all do that because they only can have one account per Xbox service, where Sony has one account per generation. So you could te- technically you could you could rock PlayStation Four games on your PlayStation Five if somebody's using your account in your house playing PlayStation, and you could both be online at the same time. Like he was playing Fortnite. Uh, PlayStation 5 version, and I was playing, uh, I tried Call of Duty PlayStation 4 version, and I was, both, both of us are online. Crazy. Because you could be one account per generation. So, do you believe in generations, Jim Ryan? Enough from me. We're gonna have the games do our talking. Phil, do you believe in quality? When I think about Xbox, I'm gonna think about quality games. We have work to do here. We haven't done our best work over the last few years. So oh, damn. First party output. I've yeah, that's always, that that's always been a hit. We got plenty. <laughs> but those are just some tips and, and things like that I just wanted to to mention to you guys. But um, with that, let me uh, to this. So with that, yeah, we we're concluding the the review, revisiting the PlayStation uh, Five. And actually, I've been doing rest mode, no crashes, knock on wood, so far. So it's it's been it's been uh, good times. But um, but yeah, I want to just uh, you know that was about. Yo, a big a big review over two and a half hours. So, uh, but again, you got to see it firsthand. You got to see me using it, um, and you got to see it, you know, in action. And I wanted to make sure I had plenty of content out there so you could refer back to it and you could see, you know, how this functions. And uh, see, there you go, true witty, exactly. I know it's 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 so confusing, but hey, trying to describe all these services is confusing as well too. So like, but yeah, his cousin was playing GTA Five online, GTA Five online on the PlayStation Four, and you were playing Miles on the PlayStation Five. Exactly. So there is a benefit to like generational accounts and stuff like that. So it is cool. Uh, and again, plus and minus with everything, I give you my opinion on how I feel looking at something, and uh, just want to show you what's there. Um, oh, the recording thing. So I use the um, here. I'll show you what the is the uh, the Elgato HD 60 plus. It does 1080p 60, uh, and then there's a new one that's oh no I'm sorry not the plus it's the 60 uh, HD 60 S uh, Elgato, and then there's one that does 4K pass through, and then there's one and and this one does 1080p 60 because I think there's like the two of them there. And I heard too, like that. This is uh, where is this? The um, what is it? Yeah. I don't know if that's coming up. Is that coming up? No, hold on. 
There it goes. Yeah, this is Xbox Game Pass. I heard this is a little bit wild. I got to try this, but like the EA Play now going into Xbox Game Pass. Um, yeah, they had a lot of games in here. Well, like, this is what I mean. It's FIFA 16, 17, like 15. Who's it? FIFA 15. But I heard you gotta like go. You have to like link it up with EA Desktop app, so that's kind of whack. But it's EA, you know, EA is always wonky the way they do. And this is the other thing too. If you click on all games here, this is all games for PC Game Pass. Is definitely less games than than what's on Xbox. You know, then these are the games. Like you know, like. I don't know why it's showing so little games, though. Oh, what's this? Nah. I don't know why. It's the tiles A to Z. These are all PC games. I don't know why it's... um. This is it for PC Game Pass. I don't know why it's showing. I thought there were more. Yeah, it's ending at D. I don't know why. About a hundred games in here, but again, but I don't know, but that's for another day. But you could always look it up. Battle Toads, <laughs> what is that true? Woody, hold on, let me see what he said. I gotta bring this over here. Uh oh, uh oh, what'd I do? I drank something. I drank something from my thing over here. Yes, it does have repeat games. Yeah, uh, I was trying to find it. Where is it again? It is the uh, the HD sixty Elgato. I think it's like a hundred and uh, let's see. Oh, there's the Pro. Okay. Yeah, here I'll show you, True Witty. This is it. This is what it looks like. Hold on, let me move this over here. Ah! Oh my god. I'm just like destroying my friggin'. I should lock these things. Yeah, let me uh do the display here. Here it is thing. Oh crap. There we go. Yeah, this is it. Let's see if you can see it. This is what I'm using. Ah. Yeah. So there's the HD. Uh, there's that one. And then there's the... So here it is. So there's the... Uh, this is the one I'm using. I'm sorry. This one. The HD 60S Plus. That allows for 1080p... Uh, 1080p uh, 60. And it's 4K pass-through. So if you want to still play on your TV, you'd have this out going to your TV. So you could have it capturing for on your PC while you just play it natively on your TV. Yo, what's up, Callie? How you doing? <laughs> I broke something. Right? Yeah, and then, and then they came out with this new one, which is the um this one, the eight the 4K60. S plus. So this one I think captures 4K. This one's expensive though. Yeah, this one. Yeah, hundred dollars. I think that yeah, see this one they get to good ratings. But that's like basically like external GPU, this basically this thing. But it's not get it didn't get such great reviews. But that's the new one. I would say go with this one. There's like 150, one I got it on sale for like 150. 160. This one, the HD 60s. It works with USB C, and you just plug your HDMI into it. I even use it for VR as well. Um, VR works through it as well. The, the Sony, the the PlayStation VR. But yeah, I would recommend the HD uh, the HD 60. And then if you want to use camera, um, you could use the Cam Link, which makes you use your own uh, your own camera, like your, your like a, like a, a SLR or something like that, a, a DSLR or something like that. Or you could just use a webcam. but um, And that you could capture too. But that is like 129 This is the thing you should get. This one. 
And this works great. It's very streamlined. Really easy. And as you can see, I played through it. So it basically takes your HDMI and turns it into a USB connection for a detection. And I used it in Streamlabs OBS. So it does work. Hey, Pug Channel, what's up? Hold on, let me turn this thing off. Let me get to the chat, guys. There's Pug. Pug, I'll show him some Guilty Gear. I didn't play it, though. But I'm showing some Guilty Gear, man. We're going we're gonna to rock that. I know you said you're just getting Returnal, Pug. But we're going to rock that. And we got here. Let's see. Any other comments? Let's see. We got... I won't get Phil Ness, Pug. No way. No Phil Ness here. Yes, and I did watch King Thrash's review, you know. And it's funny is I, 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 you know, I have a review on here when I had the, the Series X. And, uh, you know, again, it's a great piece of hardware. Um, I, the controller definitely feels a little cheaper. It's smaller. It's nice. But it feels cheap and it's flappy, very clicky. The PlayStation is very muffled. There's a lot of damping in there, I think, probably because of the microphone in there. Like, the PlayStation controller definitely feels much higher quality than the Xbox controller. It feels good. But very flappy. But the, the console, slick. It's great. It's just when you boot it up, it is the same thing. And what's crazy is that I really haven't gamed on an Xbox in, since 2017, since I, I kind of got rid of my last S, my last S's. I didn't buy a One X. And I've been and then I switched over to the to PlayStation and to do all the exclusives and just stop buying games on there. But um to, to come back after a few years, I'm like, oh, okay, well, let's go. I haven't been played on a console, I've been doing PC stuff. Let's see. And to be like, ooh, I wasn't like really gravitating to the um, the new dashboard. Like I was just like, this dashboard's the same. This stuff's the same. They don't have any new capture. Like nothing was really new. And that's coming back from somebody who hasn't played on it in a few years. So I can imagine if you're coming off a of One X and then you got the Series X, it just didn't feel new. It felt like I'm not. Uh, and, oh yeah like it felt like just like a bunch of old like, like oh i remember that game like just how we were just doing playstation now the whole console the whole experience was like oh i remember that i remember i had fun with that game oh i remember when that released halo 4 oh i remember that oh real replay yeah i remember that oh let me see what it looks like okay oh rare replay how cute oh conquer i love conquer yeah but i'm not playing it again but it looks good it just was like a bunch. It was like a, a, it was like a high school reunion. That's what the Series X remind me of, a high school reunion. Oh, we got to get together. Oh, I remember those are the good days, a good days. Like you know what I mean. But you're really not gonna like, like hang out every day and say, "Yo, you're my main friend from now." Like I haven't talked to you in like seven years. Like. Dude, like that's what it was. It was like a reunion. It was like, oh, I remember that. That was good times. I remember when we stayed up late and played that. That was it. Because there was nothing bringing you into a new generation. There was no new experience. And that's for somebody who hasn't played on it in about three, four years. That's how I honestly felt. I was just like, it was a great memory lane. And then to see, like, I had to pay $10 a month for Xbox Live. Because remember, Xbox Live was $10 a month. People told you it was going for free, but from July until February when that thing happened, Xbox Live was $10 a month. Nobody, nobody made a big deal about it, because it, but it was. There was no $60 one-year option since July of last year. Nobody said anything. They said, oh, it's going away. And they and it was like, yeah, but for the last six months, it's been 10 Yeah, so I got Game Pass for a month. And even then, I was just like, oh, to play my old games online. Like Again, it wasn't. That great. And now they're like, oh, they put Bethesda game. I just showed you. They put Bethesda game on the PlayStation now. Is, is anybody like going, I'm streaming Fallout 4 tonight. I was showing Oblivion on PlayStation 3. Like, I'm not going to play through that game again. That game is rough. Like, you know what I mean? But it's just like, I'm not going to sit here and go, yo, I'm stopping everything now. Screw Returnal. Screw Ratchet and Clank. Yo, it, it is it is, it is, is old games all the time. Nah, man. Can't be that way. It's balance. Balance in the force. That's what it is. It's balance. We got games for, for big games. We got games for little games. We got games for a service. We got games for VR. We got games. We got stuff. It all doesn't have to get funneled through one method. 
And that's the difference between the two of them, in my thing. One's trying to force it, shove it down your throat, going two billion because that's what they want. Is that better for us as gamers? Halo free to play multiplayer, Craig with no hair. Halo looking the way it does. Like, is that is that better for us because they want a service game? I don't know. I don't think it's better for us. Halo 5 was fine. Just fix the story. You did bad marketing. I never said make it free-to-play multiplayer and and, and shave Craig. Bare ass. <laughs> like, I just said shit. Craig looks like he's ready to do Kumbaya. Come on now. But, you know, that's a rant for another day. This was... Showing what the services are on the PlayStation 5 and how they look. And what it is for um, what the PlayStation 5 is going to offer. What the PlayStation 5 currently offers. And again, you know, yes, it does have quirks. The party chat system is more of like a Twitter DM. And, and you know, sharing photos. You can share them from your phone to the Twitter DM. You can even do um, the browser thing. You know, you could you could do Snap. I'll show that another tip. But, like, yeah, you could do Snap. You could Snap video. You could Snap YouTube to the side and play games and stuff like that just by putting a browser in your chat. I think I turned it off, right? I don't think I can do it now. But, yeah, you could do some cool things. Like, But also, too, as has quirks. PlayStation 4 saves. PlayStation 5 saves. Like, it does have its, its quirks. And, uh, you know, but they did try something new. The activity cards. The new Share Factory, which I showed a video on. The, the thing they did, they, they, they're doing different things. And trust me, I am a hate Xbox One launch survivor. Like, I survived Xbox One launch where I was using dongles to hook up headsets because they didn't put a headphone jack in the remotes. They had bumpers that would snap and get stuck. I used that. I had to wait for Turtle Beach to be a partner with Xbox in order for them to give me the dongle so I have a real Xbox One headset. Because they did not put a headphone jack in there. Then I had to buy a $20 dongle in order to put headphones into my controller. And then I had to buy an Xbox $70 wired headset to do that. Like, I survived that whole Xbox One launch. And that whole them just trying to figure out yelling at Kinect. And having Cortana. And, you know. But they were trying something new. Sony is not to that extreme, but Sony is trying something new in that stuff. So it's been six months, been five months. Give them some time to sort the things out and, and see what works and things like that. But for Xbox, it's the same UI carried over, like the same feature set, the same capturing. Nothing has changed. They're going to add features to it now based off of feedback. But the thing is, is that none of it was there at launch. Sony tried something new, a generational UI, a different controller, a different different way of how that system handles backwards compatibility. So, like, you know, you got to you got to give it give that some time, you know. Yeah, I don't think this this will work here. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you're seeing it. Hold on. Let me see if I have it. I don't think I even have it set up. I just wanted to show it to you because it was pretty cool. Where is it? This little thing for the grind is that staying late tonight. Hold on. Wait. Oh, you see it? Okay, good. Wait. Hold on. Let me fix this thing. Yeah, so if like you if you take a message and put uh hold on if you do I want to show you this. This thing's pretty cool, but I gotta figure out how. Ah. Oh, that's my intro. We don't want that thing. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, but if you do, uh, if you send yourself like a, you got to do it with the phone. I don't have it set up. But like if you send yourself like Google.com to a message group, if you click on that link in your um, 
in your uh, on your your PlayStation, it'll actually open up the browser, and then it'll open up a browser tab like over here, and then you could just click on it, and you could say snap, and it'll snap it to the side. But I'll I'll do a video on that. But I just I didn't know if I could could do it on here, but I don't have it I don't have it right now. And this video's been going on long <laughs> on the thing. I don't want to have too much stuff in one video. I gotta save some stuff. But this one, because this one is really focused for the, uh, you know, the services, and that was the main thing I wanted to focus on. I uh, talked a little bit about VR, but you know, I appreciate everybody hanging out here. Awesome stream. I want to thank everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and it gave you some insight as to PlayStation Now and the services on the PlayStation Five. Stay tuned. Um, we'll have the gaming grindhouse on Monday night. Have some topics to talk about. Uh, I'll see. I'll put them together on Monday. But shout out to. Uh, all you guys that check this out, hit that like button, share it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, subscribe if you're new. You know, subscribers are growing. Let's get to that thousand. Thousand grinders, baby. Let's build on another addendum to the grind house. But thank you again, everybody, for your time and for checking this out. And I appreciate the support. And until then, grinders. Enough from me. We're going to have the games do our talking. Oh, baby. Oh, no, the coons are, man. Yeah, it's been a late night, sorry, man. But definitely check it out, the replay. I will post the replay on Twitter and uh, and hit subscribe and stay tuned to this channel. But I want to thank everybody again. Shout out to all the grinders. I am out.